stream today. It's stream Saturday. Let's put stream Saturday in parentheses. Stream Saturday. Who capitalizes Saturday? You call it stream Saturday, right? Like let's, you know, I think it's really funny to mock like branding. Like when people try to like brand stuff as stuff. I think it's funny. Stream Saturday. Like like that phrase has I'm putting some socks on. Ah, oh, because you know my feet are cold. Uh, that phrase has no meaning at all. But like it's the kind of thing that you can like say. It's stream Saturday! Wow! You know? We should we should imagine we could put an end to advertising because everybody just understands it. Like, I don't know what it is, you know. I remember I worked for this place when I was when I was like I was eighteen. It's called uh, Automated uh, it's, uh, Media, uh, and I just I didn't get it. Like I didn't get who the ads were for because they clearly weren't for me. Except sometimes when I see some Pizza Hut pizza, I do want Pizza Hut pizza, and then I remember how uh, nasty it is. Um, so I think we're gonna start uh, before we get into the stream. I bought something that I want to show you guys. It's, uh, it's a little piano. Got a little piano here, um, and we can, uh, you know, I think I think this is a great, uh, you know, Gucci piano. That's right, Gucci piano. I listened to that. If someone if someone wrote a song called Gucci piano, I mean that's like where we are today. Gucci piano, yeah, I got a Gucci piano, yeah, I got a Gucci piano, yeah, I got a Gucci piano. Oh, uh. like, oh, uh. oh, uh. you know, we'll put some of them noises in. Maybe we could get the air horn. Uh, 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 uh. Gucci piano, I got a Gucci piano. My dad and I did a, did a Ben's truck cover. And he's here. Uh, soft instruments. Let's get some, let's get a nice sound of piano up in here. Oh, I don't know if, is the mic working? I got a Gucci piano. Yeah, I got a Gucci piano. Consequences will never be the, consequences will never be the same. Right, like we could, we can sample that. Should we get that on the sample? Uh, I, want a, I want a piano. Steinway Grand. Oh, that's a nice sound of piano. Yeah, I got a Gucci piano. Let's put some volume up. All right, so y'all asking what keyboard I'm using? It's the Impact LX25. Um, and then uh, this is this is I think the most appropriate uh, song, you know, for 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 America and for uh, uh, July Fourth. stupid people from and how they get to be so dumb bred on purple mountain range fed amber waves of grains to lesser human beings zero feelings Destiny, blame it on the greedyocracy, the fear of God, the fear of change, the fear of truth. Maybe we can we can we can lower the screen a little so you guys can 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 see the piano. Yeah, wait, wait, wait Gucci piano. Add the bill of rights, subtract the wrongs. There's no answers. Memorize and sing star-spangled songs. When the questions aren't ever asked Is anybody learning from the past? We're living in united stagnation We 
We're getting to the Google Choral, but first we're doing a cover of The Decline. Father, what have I done? I took that 22, a gift from me to you, to bed with me each night. Kept it clean, polished it well, cherished every cartridge, every shell. Down by the creek, under brush, under dirt, there's a carcass of my second kill. Let's try that again. Stone under pine, there's a carcass of my brother William. Brother, where have you gone to? I swear, I never thought I could. I see so many times they told me to shoot straight. Don't pull the trigger, squeeze that will ensure a kill. A kill is what you want, a kill is why we breed. Oh, I think, I think for this part, I think we need to get the piano. I think I think we need to get I think we need to get the real piano. This is an Impact LX25, but I think I think we need to get some some bigger piano up in here, you know? Yo, I got a Gucci piano. Yo, I got you know when did this song come out, man? Cause cause you know it's still so true. And if we felt like we're in decline for this long, I, I don't know, like 1999. Wow, so this is pre-9/11, man. You know, I'm, you know I'm, I'm sad, like, what are we gonna do, man? We're living in a country in decline. It sucks, you know? Like, the Romans knew it too. They did get to enjoy another couple hundred years after Caesar showed up. All right, so we gotta, we gotta bring this piano over. All right, we gotta, we gotta better piano now. Oh, yeah. Oh, but where am I gonna plug this piano in? Uh-oh. Well, let me see which plug this one goes to. Uh oh, is that the monitor? If we unplug the monitor, things might crash. Okay, we're gonna do this very carefully. Okay, good. Ooh, I got a Gucci piano. Yeah, I got a Gucci piano. All right. Oh, that's that's better. That's better. What do you think? Right, well, we'll we'll bring the uh, we'll bring the uh, the microphone a little bit forward here. All right. And we'll just make this a little bigger on the screen. Uh, don't don't auto scroll. No 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 auto scroll. Off. Bad JavaScript. All right, this is where we're up to. All right, let's go. The Christians love their guns. The church and NRA. Wait, what is that? been read and every line believed. Curriculum's been set, logic is a threat, reason searched and seized. Wait, we gotta move the microphone a little. Oh yes, I love the story of Jerry. I love the story of Jerry. Oh, this is, this is, this is a great, this is a great, uh, Sad story, man. Jerry spent some time in Michigan, a 20 year vacation after all he had a dime. A dime is worth a lot more in Detroit, a dime in California, a $20 fine. couple months It's hard to enjoy yourself while bleeding out the ass Asphyxiation is simple and fast Tell that to John McAfee 
It beats 17 fun years of being someone's bitch. Don't think, drink your wine, watch the fire burn. His problem's not mine. Just be that model citizen. You know, it's a real shame about the woke fucks who took over punk, man. Because, you know, this song's based. I wish I had a shilling for every senseless killing. I'd buy a government, America's for sale, and you can get a good deal on it. And make a healthy profit, or maybe tear it apart. Start with the assumption that a million people are smart. Smarter than one. Serotonin's gone. She gave up. Drifted away. No one will ever hear Ten thousand messages a day A million more transmissions lay Victims of the laissez-faire Ten thousand voices, a hundred guns A hundred decibels turn to one One bullet, one empty head Serotonin gone. You could send a message to that sub. I think we'll skip this verse. place to start uh yo guys save us the human existence is failing resistance essential the future written off the odds are astronomically against us only moron and genius would fight a losing battle against the superego So damn comforting, and so we go on with our lives. We know the truth, but prefer lies. Lies are simple, simple is bliss. Why go against tradition when we can? Admit defeat, live in decline. Be the victims of our own design. The status quo built on suspects. Why would anyone stick out their neck? Fellow members, club, we've got ours. I'd like to introduce you to our host. He's got his, and I've got mine. The decline.
Yeah, man. Um, you know, how the fuck, man, how the fuck do y'all watch Fight Club and The Matrix? Uh, you know, listen to that song. So 1999. And then what happened, man? What happened? Why do y'all give up? You know? Why do y'all give up? Why do y'all give up? You know, I can't, I can't believe it. I can't believe the fucking bullshit I get by email. You know, like, you try to, like, talk to people on LinkedIn. That's hopeless. Like, I'm like, oh, man, where's the population right for... These people are valueless fucks. You know, you think, oh, but no, no, you, you can't. So, um... You guys don't get a stream to get it today. You guys just get a rendition of The Decline. Uh, Cause that's, you know, where we are right now. Um, yeah, you know what? Could I, could I, uh, yeah, yeah, my, my Google Coral. Could I, could I take my Google Coral? Could I, you know, tell you all, oh, look, oh, the systolic matrix. Yeah, man, but you see, does it matter? Right, like, does it matter? How do you win? How do you structurally win? Will they just always find a way to own you? I'm not. You know, I, God, I'd rather, I'd rather, I'd rather smoke weed all day than like contribute to the system, man. That's the problem. That's the problem. Like the system has this way of systematizing everything. Oh. Um. Yeah. I mean, that's. You know. Now, this is the tragedy, right? Why are engineers such bitches? Not everybody, but I mean, so many engineers, I'm like, they're such bitches, right? Like, they, they just, they give in to the professional managerial class. They let these people who are idiots, who, who celebrate mediocrity, come in and tell them what to do. Why? Oh, you know, what, 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 what is it? What is it? Oh, it's like, uh, you know, it's just, it's comfortable. It's comfortable, man. Yeah, you know, why try to beat them when a million others try? It's, it's true, it's true, it's true. Um, so, I don't know. You know, that's, that's, what does, what does a structural victory look like? Uh, I don't know. I'm good at stuff. Keep trying, man. Open Pound's really damn good. You know, we can build things. We can build things. This mentality can build things. I never thought we were actually, you know, maybe, maybe, I, I don't know. Who thought we were actually going to win self-driving cars? Like, it's really good. And when you think about that landscape, it's, it's the only sort of thing with a path forward. We made some bets very early on that were correct. But I have technical control. And that's not like, it's not, it's not, I'm not complaining about anybody. This is, this is nobody. This is not any like, oh, you know, this person's oppressing me or anything. It, it's, it's a system which encroaches, and the thing about the system, you know, this is the same reason I don't do crime. It's like, the system is relentless. Um, this is why you do offense and not defense, right? If you're doing offense, you only have to find one exploit. If you're doing defense, you have to find every exploit. Um, and you have to find every bug. You don't even get the joy of writing the exploit. You, you have to keep your guard up every day against this absolutely relentless system. It's so, you know, uh, when giving in is so damn comforting, y'all got bait and switched. Y'all got this instead of the Google Coral. Yeah, I bought a Google Coral. Yeah, we can look at whatever their bullshit is. You know, they open source the driver. It's like a hundred thousand lines of bullshit. Um, you know, they could have made something simple and beautiful, but no, it's not simple and beautiful. Um, I don't think I was ever really controlled by the managers. Uh, I was thinking, I was thinking a lot about the Unabomber manifesto and, you know, of course, like it doesn't provide any solutions. 
as someone who wants to, you know, yeah, like live forever and go to Mars and stuff, right? You, you can't blow up technological industrial society. There's technology is great. Nobody's ever saw a refrigerator and complained about it. No one's ever saw a tin can and been like, shit, man, I really loved carefully boiling water and coconut shells. Like technology is great. And I don't think the problem is technology. I think the problem is these people and this terrible way of thinking. Um, who the Unabomber also rails against, right? And he, he describes them as leftists, but I, I don't think it's leftists. I, I think that, um, you know, if you, if you asked uh, uh, Fat Mike, who wrote this song, he would describe himself as a leftist, right? So, like, you know, be careful. Don't, don't become, uh, you know, ammunition in their stupid war. Um, so much racist shit out there today. I can't believe the racist shit. It's all racist. Like, you know, the anti-racism and racism are like here, man. You know, they're like, you know, it's like love and hate, man. And then there's the other side, which is apathy, right? Uh, it's all the same shit. Um, you know, the same kind of wall. Oh, it doesn't matter how, you know, divide and conquer. I don't know if the system does this consciously, or I don't know if the system, like, Just, just evolves to this point. Is it human nature? Uh, uh, yeah, I know, but it's just, Ted's arguments are, are nice. The problem is his solution, you know, I'll oh, blow it up and let people deal with it later. You know, I, I think that, yeah, he might have lived in wild nature. As someone who's recently purchased some wild nature, uh, yeah, guys like, I'm not opposed to it, but it it, it does kind of suck. Like, oh, you want to drink that water? Uh, that's kind of sketchy. Oh, you want to not have rats scurrying through your trailer at night? Oh, well, that's going to take some effort, right? Like, you know, here I rent a nice apartment and I pay for it to be rat free and the rats are somebody else's problem, which is great. Um... Of course, politics is useless. I'm not, not <laughs> none of the stuff I'm advocating for here is, is political solutions, right? Um, no, this is what I mean. When I, when I say politics is for losers, I, I don't mean like political theory is for losers. There is, no, there is no greater ambition of man than to conquer a sovereign country and, you know, make it his own, right? I, I think that if you want to call that politics, that shit's great, man. Um, I, I mean the fake game that, you know, the people play, right? Like they made this little mini game for us to try to satiate, uh, you know, this, this, is what the, this is what they do, right? Like they'll, they'll take an ambition and they'll sell you. You know what? If they ever make psychedelics legal, if they ever get like you can like, uh, you know, come to therapy for a mushroom trip or, or an MDMA, um, it's going to be terrible. And it, that the systematization of it is going to destroy everything that is good about it. Uh, even this almost happened today with smoking weed. Um, you know, like drinking is drinking is is, is is terrible. Like look at the bars. The bars, alcohol, you know, a bit of alcohol is great. And then they make bars, which have music so loud, so you'll drink more. And then people go to it and like, they, they go through this like cycle of, you know, do we break it? Do we ever break it? Do we ever break it? Or why try to beat them when a million others tried? Um, bars are not great anywhere. <laughs> Great to hear someone talk sensibly about drugs and alcohol. Yeah, man. This is what you get when you're not brainwashed into bullshit. You know? Mm. Alex and I were talking this morning about, like, what could shatter our worlds. You know, like, what would it take? What would it take for something to come along? and shatter my worldview. The answer is nothing because I spend every day trying to shatter my worldview. Mm. Mm. 
one solar storm. One big room full of bad bitches. Oh, we'll get rid of the internet. You think this, this came out in 1999. It's the same problem. All right, so like I, I do know for a fact that this problem at least existed 21 years ago. I don't know. I don't know what life was like in 1900. I, I don't know. Maybe this problem didn't exist. This problem, there are some things that do lead you to believe that it happened more recently. Yeah, like this, right? Um, oh, it's an ad for Bitcoin. Um, there, there's a, this is, you know, in 19, 19, uh, 71 is the year they made the money fake. Uh, and yeah, you know, you could, you can, uh, you can say that, okay, these graphs are a bit cherry picked. Um, but, uh, <laughs> I love this. I love this. This is a Hayek quote from 1984. I do not believe we shall ever have good money again before we take the thing out of the hands of government. That is, we can't take it violently out of the hands of government. All we can do is by some sly roundabout way, introduce something that they can't stop. <laughs> is that even a real quote? Like, like it, almost, it almost seems too perfect. You know? Python Flask Dev wanted paid in cheap ETH. Um, Resolve this issue. Right, limit. I don't understand. I, I love seeing people use cheap ETH, <laughs> right? You know, oh God. The, the, the problem, like cheap ETH tries a very sad, you know, it's, it's, a very, it's a very shitty way of solving the main problem in crypto, which is speculators. Um, speculators are a cancer. And I'll define very clearly what a speculator is. A speculator is somebody who buys something, not to you, not because they have any use for it, but just because they think somebody else in the future will pay them more money for that, right? And I'm not talking about somebody who invests in a company, right? You invest in a company, the company deploys capital, does something with the capital, it gets better, right? I'm talking about somebody who buys a scarce resource just to hold on to it until somebody else wants that scarce resource and is willing to pay more for it. This person is just a cancer and yeah, you know, cheap ETH is for using and loving, not for speculating. Um, th there's a technical mechanic for, for cheap ETH uh, and we could actually probably enforce this in more in a better way than, you know, proof of, uh, you know, Goku doing it, which is he, he has control of a pre-mine um, and the pre-mine, you know, he says, look, I'm going to dump it on speculators if it gets above this price, right? And you could do that, but I don't think this is actually economically sound. Um, Goku just asked me to put it in there because he's like, yo, yo, pre-mine, bro. Um, advice for dealing with managers? Quit your fucking job, man. Quit your job. You know, uh, I was listening to this podcast and they were talking about how great it is that work is going remote. So now people can come together and live amongst people who share their values. Why don't you get a job amongst people who share your values? You're like, oh, it'd be great. All these people who share values can congregate in one place. Like, that's what comma is. You know, I don't know. Like, I guess these, these, these modern corporations don't have any, uh, I, I'll use a phrase. Like, you have you guys heard the phrase globo homo? It doesn't mean what you think, it, right? Like, it sounds like, but no, globo homo is um, the global homogenous culture. It's how a cafe in Paris looks identical to a cafe in New York, looks identical to a cafe in California, right? Um, so yeah, I mean, the, these corporations have no ideals beyond globo homo. And like, how ridiculous is that, that these people are trying to, we can reinvent towns where people share values. Like, God, why don't you just start a company and like, because these people don't have values, then you know, okay. Um, not everyone is a super duper programmer that they can choose a company. I think you don't understand though. I, I think like if I had no programming skills, 
like I live in a basement and write music. Like, or, or you know, I'd, I'd, I'd like do one of seven million other things. There's so many things to do that don't involve programming. I'd, I'd, I'd make furniture out of wood, you know? Whose basement would I live in? Anyone will have me. Maybe I'll just squat in a basement, you know? Um, no, I have programmer skills and money, so, you know, but... Um, yeah... Yeah, I don't know, you know. Oh, I didn't try GitHub Copilot yet. Can you live in my basement? Fuck no, get a job. <laughs> mm, no, the talks don't go anywhere. Uh, you know, it's, it's worse than that. I, I, I wonder if some of you just watch these talks and then you get like the feeling that you did something without actually doing anything. I've heard that like this is like the point of movie propaganda. It's like, you know, instead of someone actually going out and like, 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 you know, shooting people on a subway, they watch the Joker movie instead and that impulse is satiated. Ugh, God, and then like, what do you even do about that, you know? Like reading fucking self-help books. That's right. That's right. Oh, all right. I don't know. Do we even want to stream today? I don't really want to stream. I talk to y'all about what I want to talk to you about. I want to go listen to the decline. I'm like, how many of you? Can, can we get a can we get a poll? Let's let's do a straw poll. Let's do a straw poll. All right. Not straw pool. We're gonna we're gonna create a poll and I want you guys to do it. Okay. Are you the problem? Yes. No, but I don't really spend time fighting the problem. No, and I spend a lot of time fighting the problem. Well, actually, let's just say no, but I'm kind of I'm kind of apathetic to the problem. Apathetic. The problem. No, and I spend a lot of time fighting the problem. Insert uh, excuse here. Right. IP duplication checking, browser cookie duplication checking, improve spam prevention. Oh, uh, yeah, you gotta do a CAPTCHA, and no, you can't have multiple. Okay. All right. All right. I, I, I'm gonna go with this one. No, you know what? Ugh. You can't even, like, if I click one, you're like, uh, you know, don't, don't fucking, like, answer it honestly, bro. It's an anonymous poll on the internet, all right? All right. <clears throat> no, but I'm kind of apathetic to the problem is, is number one. Yes, but insert excuse here. Thank you for being honest. We always appreciate honesty on this stream. Wow, this straw poll site's pretty good. Okay, I think I think we have a pretty good, and God, this is even my demographic. Okay. Hmm. You guys know the problem. Everyone knows the problem. This is interesting. Thank you for being honest, sixty-four people. And this is my demographic. Everyone knows the problem, yeah. Well, 
Well, you spent time and you gave up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I understand that. Sean, give me that 68% of people aren't part of the problem. I'd actually believe that 68% of the people on this stream are not part of the problem. Um, I, I think a lot of people are, are students here. Uh, and, and I think that, yeah, they're, they're not really part of the problem. Uh, and I think they're right. So I, I agree. I don't think any, I, I actually don't think people lied. It's an anonymous poll on the internet. Um, thank you, 214 people, for answering. Uh, this is Twitch demographic. And yeah, I, I wouldn't be surprised if this is actually the demographic across almost all of Twitch. Yeah. GME will not fix the problem. GME is a purely speculative asset. Let's eat berries. Mm. I'm not, you know, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. Mm. I do lift bros, twice a week bros. Can someone explain what the problem actually is? Everyone understands the problem. Wall Street made money off GME, more money off GME than the people ever will. Anyone asking for the problem to be defined is the problem. Yes, I agree with that. Because, yeah, I mean, that's exactly right. Like, the systematization, right? As soon as the system can define and, like, polarize the problem, like, <laughs> you know what I mean. As soon as it's become formalized. Less gambling, less video games, less F1 race cars, less advertising, less stock trading. No, actually, really only two of those things are the problem. It's advertising and stock trading. What, you have a problem with F1 race cars, man? The cathedral's win condition is hegemony. Let's define hegemony. Our win condition is an alternative to the cathedral's drive of culture and politics. One that seems easier to maintain. Yeah. Yeah. Um, spirituality and religion, like, today maybe you can define it as an alternative to the problem because uh, the ruling class is not um, religious. But... I'm not that sure it was better when the Pope ruled, right? I, I bet it was the same kind of bullshit. Um, the problem may be fundamental to human nature, and this may... I guess, I guess maybe we can try another poll for this. I'm, I'm not sure this is like a factual question, but like... Let's, let's, try, let's, try, let's try one more poll. When did the problem begin? Um, let's say 2000, uh, 1970, um, 1900, uh, you know, circa, um, all right, actually, let's say, uh, around industrial, uh, revolution, uh, around, uh, agricultural, Ag revolution or are uh, always a part of human nature. I mean, this is less a personal one. I, I just wonder what people think. Yeah, okay.
Yeah. I suspect these aren't right. Um, like, I find it interesting that this one beat out this one. If this is true, then I think I've tried to search for this before. Yeah, I might have even found it. Mm, no, I think I think I went through exactly this before. There's a line in one of the uh, idea songs where it's like, um, what we can do is we'll develop technology that's capable of rewriting human circuitry. I, I think we're already doing this. Um, I've heard an interesting theory that the rise of radical wokeism corresponds to SSRIs. Uh, now, I don't know, you know, correlation, causation, and all that. Why capitalism isn't the problem. I can't even think of why that would be the problem. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. We're going to try one more. We're going to try one more poll. Are things getting better? Always have been. Um, they were, but now they are declining. Um, they weren't, but now they are starting to. Always have been getting better. Uh, always have been getting worse. Yeah. Oh, things weren't always will be the same. <laughs> You're right, I should have added that option. You're right, I forgot an option. Well, yeah, I don't know. I, I think about why I forgot that option, but I, I'm in this camp. Um, I think that in general, it looks like uh, something like that uh, on a log scale. Like, you're going to have local dips, but they're only ever local dips, and in general, things trend toward being better. Um, yeah, techno optimism. Um, cool. Thank you for participating in my polls. All right, should we, should it, can we, can we stomach it? Can we stomach the Google bullshit? Mm. Mm, when do I think things were the best? The 90s, but it's just because childhood's the best, man. Oh, I can't you. Oh, someone sent me a secret. Oh.
<laughs> Someone sent me a secret link to buy the Xilinx cards. Um, poll date is free. Take a screenshot, bro. To realize that we live in an absurd culture where we're taught absurd things by absurd people and threatened with absurd consequences for defying all of it. It's a chichi level of <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I like that. Um, are we still thinking? Because you're a VIP, I'll click your link. You know, it's very unfortunate that um, a, a lot of uh, this stuff, you can, like, there's, like, you know, fringe right-wing bullshit that, like, pops up when people talk about it, which does say something about, you know, the cultural health of the left and the right. Uh, this is, I think this is probably pretty American specific. Um, but you know, growing up, it was everyone who was thinking is on the left and now it's everyone who's thinking is on the right. Right. It's like kind of interesting like that. I don't actually think that they've changed at all. I think that, uh, I don't know. There, there's just the, the way this, this, and maybe this is a very uniquely American thing. Um, yeah, no, I think I don't necessarily agree with this. The basic idea of like the move from dialogue to media. I think there's always been a power law. Uh, maybe not in hunter gatherer society, but at least going back to like any kind of monarchy, right? Like there's always been a power law, right? You know, a power law distribution. Right, looks like something like that. Like who you hear from, who has reach. Right. Isn't this like the distribution of Instagram followers and stuff? Um, is it a stretch to think we're already under the influence of an elite with access to AGI? Well, no, they don't actually have AGI, but, uh, you know, people, I can't believe I ever fell for this kind of like super intelligent shit. Like, corporations are already super intelligences. So in that sense, it's already true. Right? Like, Yes. There are elites with access to super intelligences, though the super intelligences now are breaking in very interesting ways. Um, I think we, we really saw them break during coronavirus. Um, see, again, I don't know how this got associated. Is this, is, is this, let's see if we can find, what's the truth about this? Sorry, am I allowed to talk about this or do I get banned from Twitch? Um, this was in, uh, can, is there any honest studies on this? Review of the emerging evidence. I almost like, I, I've heard that hydrochloroquinolone is ineffective and this one's effective. Um, There's always going to be a bias towards a positive result in science. Uh, scientists are much less uh, apt to publish rebuttals than to publish uh, I mean, just like roughly reading this, by the way, look up cloth masks, you're never gonna find anything like this, right? Now, I don't know, but f from what I've heard, this one actually does seem effective. Um, and, and, and it's interesting the way the world kind of, uh, there is now a, um, you know, for a long time, you say like, okay, the elites have access to AGI. Well, the elites have access to intelligence agencies, uh, which are like a form of AGI, right? Like, like you know, it's called an intelligence agency. Uh, I've heard a rumor that in China, they don't give their intelligence agency a name. 
uh, so that nobody can really talk about it. I'm like, damn, that's brilliant. That's some sci-fi dystopia. Like you can't, you can't, you can't write. That's that's like like if that's not true. If I ever write a sci-fi book, I'm gonna use that in the sci-fi book, right? Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, I don't want to. Again, I, I tried to find. Do I want to read anything that is remotely like pushing a point? No, please don't push a fucking point. I just want to find the truth. Um. The Chinese analysis agency. CIA, bro. Uh, so they have access to these intelligence agencies, right? And you don't have access to an intelligence agency. Intelligence agencies work for the elites. Um, but the internet is a better intelligence agency than these intelligence agencies are. And so in the sense like you have access to AGI as well if you know how to ask the right questions. It's, it's interesting the way that, you know, people are like, oh, GPT-3. By the way, I got access to the GPT-3 beta finally. So if we want to play with that, we can. But it's interesting how if you know how to ask the right question to the internet AGI, 4chan I think is like a great uh, example of this because the, the amount of raw intelligence uh, behind some of those 4chan boards is crazy high if you know how to phrase things in the right way right like i remember on b it's like people would say like in before personal army right <laughs> like it's just it's, it's funny um so if you know how to ask the right question you have access to a super powerful agi um we were just talking about at comma i want to automate the entire production line like my dream one of my dreams in life is to build a berserker build a machine that's capable of self-replication Ugh. Not like on its own, it's like because then you gotta like Monsanto that shit so that the ones out in the field can't self-replicate. But you'd ideally like to be able to have a switch to switch it so that the ones in the field can start self-replicating. You gotta be careful about that switch. But like I don't know, this isn't that well thought out yet. But like if they ever try to come for you and cease the means of production, you press the button and you give the means of production to everybody. Right. Um, can I interest you in everything all of the time? A little bit of everything all of the time. Apathy is a tragedy and boredom is a crime. Anything and everything all of the time. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this song, this song's lit, bro. Edge TPU o'clock. All right, what does it show up as? Um, the global unichip. Oh, watch out for the global unichip. Is that it? Where's my, where's my Google? Wait, is it actually the global unichip? Unplug it and check. Wow, wow, that's creepy as fuck, man. It's the global unichip. It's the global unichip corp composite device. <laughs> Google's so creepy. Um, okay. Edge TPU. Now, unfortunately, the Edge TPU doesn't actually work on the M1, but we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna struggle with you guys. Ah. Uh, we don't even need to compile. Let's let's follow the edge TPU getting started. Getting started with the Okay, good. Alright, so good. I have a hand. I don't have any nail polish on, unfortunately. I'm holding it like well let's, let's, let's um hang on, hang on, hang on. I gotta do this better. Sorry, I'm moving the computer. If it crashes, it was stupid. It was not with moving the computer. Okay. Let's see. He has his, no, 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 he's using this hand. Uh, does it like this, and then no, two fingers there, one finger there, okay, good. Oh, now I gotta put my thumb a little more like that. Wow, that's pretty uncomfortable. Oh, oh, it's because of the way I'm, okay. All right, good, all right, good, good. We followed the first step, okay, good. Oh, it's a she? Sorry, I didn't ask them what their pronouns were. I forgot. Uh, what what are your pronouns, hand? Oh, you prefer to be referred to as your handiness? Okay. Um, 
on Linux. We don't have Linux, we have Mac. And I don't think this is gonna work, but we can try it. Now the Edge TPU runtime is open source now. They, they open sourced it. Uh, okay, frogfish release legacy. Why is it a legacy frogfish release? Legacy. You should instead refer to the following repos. Lib edge TPU. Okay, that sounds pretty good. Lib edge TPU coral. All right, good. I think that's the first one we're going to install. The runtime. Good. That cloned fast. Do we have submodules? Let's just follow the get submodule init, get submodule update. No submodules. Okay. Build native binaries on Linux and Mac OS. Make. We're starting local Basil server and connecting to it. So Google. I did use the right microphone, right? Yeah, Yeti starting a microphone. Yeti starting a microphone. Yeti starting a microphone. Oh no. No module named NumPy. Oh, is this because I installed weird Python? Tip three, install NumPy. Great. Is SciPy gonna work? Oh, don't tell me SciPy worked. If SciPy worked, oh no, that's not gonna work because it's not a wheel. Oh, it's gonna try to build and it's like, you forgot Fortran. Oh, you don't have Fortran. You need Fortran. Okay. I switched my Python from 3.9 to 3.8. Mm -hmm. Good, 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 good. This looks like it's doing something. Uh, maybe we can put a J in that bitch to make it compile faster. How many CPUs are we using? Are we using all the CPUs? One CPU, that's a pathetic amount of CPU. Should we control C it? Should we have a vote? Should we control C the, ma oh, using all the CPUs, there we go. He's like made up Steve Jobs. His car suck and his rocket technology, 80 years. You guys talking about Elon? The man who lands rockets? I don't know, man. I've never seen a rocket land before. And I don't think those videos are shooped, man. No, but that's like my new saying. When like someone shows me something that I don't want to believe, I just like it's photoshopped. No, nah, man, it's photoshopped. It's, 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 it's shopped. Oh no, it's going slow now because the frames are bad. Will I write any C? You want me to write some C? All right, one line of C, in main. Int A equals one. Poor A, it never does anything, especially because I'm gonna return zero. And now it's like, wow, that's so sad. Poor A, it's gonna be optimized out by the compiler. Oh, what a tragedy. All right, I don't know why I hit make again. I just typed it again. All right. Uh, okay. Build native binaries on Windows. Build.bat. Build all built binaries go in the out directory. Okay. Out. Oh, direct throttle. We want throttled because we're a bitch. All right. That looks good. Okay. We have a lib edge TPU. That seems, that seems good. Now we're going to need the Coral Python library, I think. Yes. We need this. Pick Coral, okay. Uh, get submodule init. Oh, lib edge TPU. Oh, it's gonna build it again. Oh, that sucks. Okay, turns out we only needed Pick Coral. I have a better idea. We're gonna move. Throw some MV on, on that bitch. You know, MV, MV, we're gonna MV. All right, ready for MV? Oh no, is this gonna take forever? Is this gonna take all my disk? Which disk do I have? Only 2.4 gigabytes. Oh, I need to delete some stuff. What can we delete? What looks stupid? What here is taking up space? That can go. This stuff all looks useless. That can go. That can go. That can go. All right. 
that a good amount of space? Three point two gigabytes. Okay, we're getting more gigabytes. That's pretty good. I should have bought the computer with more gigabytes. When's the M two coming out? September. Apple. By the way, guys, who's coming to Comic Con? But no fanboys. No fanboys. Only you know, comma fanboys. If you're like, yeah. Burgers. Uh, also, I'll I'll shill for it very briefly. The Patriot Edition Red. Like, we thought about doing a sale, um, but then we decided against it. And we just made red ones instead. Do you think from the transistor to the web browser is a good start for an individual on the path to non-conformity? <laughs> Oh yes, this is yes, yes. I must be emo. That's that's the name of the that's the name of, of what I'm thinking about. Yes. Oh, can you please tell me how to get on the path to nonconformity? Oh yes. I'm an emo kid. Nonconforming as can be. You'd be nonconforming too if you look just like me. I have paint on my nails and makeup on my face. I'm almost emo enough to start shaving my legs. <laughs> All right. Uh, I don't know. Let's just try it. Let's see what happens. All right. Let's go. This, this just looks like it's not going to work. Uh, build is Docker based. Oh, I can already tell this isn't going to work. Oh, no. How much gigabytes is this using? Oh, no. I only have 1.9 gigabytes. What else can die? What else can die? What else can die? Hmm. It's dep. That seems that was useless. F hash can die. F relay can die. I don't need a copy of Go Ethereum. Do I have Parity Clone too? I'm gonna call it something stupid now. Will they change Parity's name too? Executor failed running. Executor! Executor. Yeah. Alright. Well. Can we get the pipe? What, what does the script do? Why does it need Docker? I hate Docker. Make. I never know the answer. I never know. Patriot edition. Um, you know what? I do want you to understand though that like, yeah, could we do a sale? But this like, and this is a struggle, right? It turns out if you actually want to be like traditional like like kind of successful where you like you know have like a company you sell things to people you have to repeat the same shit over and over and over again right and i i think i i am willing to trade off like success with customers for my own entertainment because at the end of the day like what's really the value if i'm not being entertained um Great. Okay, well this thing just doesn't work. Can we figure out how to use lib? Uh, oh, safe retirement, please kill me. Please kill me if I ever start to value things like that. 
Just, just like, you know, helium in a bag, man. Just like make it quick, you know? Oh, yes, yes. They take up all your time and then they manage your decline. Keep crying your heart out. We're all gonna die now. We're all gonna die now. Okay, we got Lib Edge TPU to build, but we didn't get Pick Coral to build. While resolving tool chains, no matching tool chains. Maybe incompatible use CC configure from rules CC. Who put that flag in and is like, yes, yes, this is a flag that we want. We're not gonna think about how to like refactor this and make this better for everybody. We're just gonna put in incompatible use CC configure from rule CC. I just, just. This is, this is the Google problem. This is why Google doesn't make anything good anymore. Like this is, a, you can see that flag and you can know that only someone at Google would make a flag like that. You know? C could you imagine like a Facebook thing having a flag like that? No, you, you just couldn't. No, Apple has stuff, Apple has issues too, but it's not an Apple flag either. Why would I tell you fucks about my medical history? You know, that's right. You heard of HIPAA, bro? HIPAA! Mm. All right, well, you know, it turns out that if, if we want to, uh, you know, use the, wow. 32% of you guys are part of the problem. Everything about the vaccine is such, like, what do you, what do you do when like, like, you, there's sometimes you have like a group of idiots who come to the right answer and like you still have to the right answer is still right even though you know you're associated with idiots right and like and now you can ask the question you want to talk about that vaccine stuff it's like who are the idiots well it's like you know they're both idiots and they're both wrong you know like 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 or or like when the propaganda is correct i don't even this isn't even in here I don't know. You know what? I'm banning the word vaccine. That's that's the real way. Ban. Ban word vaccine. Oh, perfect. Oh, yes. I love that. That's a great solution. Okay, it's banned. 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 Yep. You want to push me? You want to push me, Akko Freshman? Get the fuck out of my stream. <laughs> Lib Edge TPO. Can we figure out how to use Lib Edge TPO without pick coral? Okay, we recommend you write, oh, maybe we can get the C++ one to work. Not pick coral, but the C++, maybe that will work. Lib coral, the coral C++ library, which provides convenient functions. All right, all right, all right. Let's try this one. Do we think it's gonna work? Does it involve any Docker? Oops. Oh, do oh, Docker. Okay, that seems okay. It's only one Docker. It's calling the same test data. How many gigabytes do I have? Probably not enough gigabytes. Oh, 919 megabytes. Oh, this is a tragedy. All right, well, we don't even pick Coral anymore. I think I also have a copy of it in here. Yeah, I can go. 
It's this test data repo that's huge. It's also recloning edge TPU. Do I actually need those? No, I'm gonna control C that. Libcoral can go. And then we're gonna just git clone this. And I don't think we need test data. Carl is in the quad. College dorm on Labor Day. The plan is all in place. You can watch the future fade away. Mm, that's a sub module, so let's RM that. Let's make a symlink. All right, let's go. J. Oh. What's the problem? Your request is correct, but requested an empty set of packages. Lib edge TPU dependencies. Okay, fine. It doesn't build with the latest version of lib edge TPU. That work? Let's try that. Mm, that doesn't seem like a good number of packages. Is that an okay number? Oh, oh, all right. Build file doesn't specify an existing file. Oh, because we don't have test data. Fine, fine, fine. Fine, I'll, I'll waste my gigabytes on this and waste all of your time while we clone this. While we wait, let's, let's, uh, let's take a look around a little bit here. Do we trust the authors? I don't like this. I don't like that I have this toggle. It's too powerful. No, I don't trust the authors. Cancel. I'm confused. Always when you're confused, press cancel. Uh, so this thing is gonna talk to libedge TPU, I imagine. Load, model, or die. We probably want to like go pretty deep into how this thing works anyway. So like maybe we don't even need to build this. Don't post that. All right. So where's the thing that actually links to? One segmentation. Where, where is load model or die? TF light utils. Is this part of lib edge TPU? What does lib edge TPU export? Because we did get this to build. We can probably just link to this. Let's just find a header file for this, so we can figure out what we're what we're working with here. Appy. Oh, we got Appy. All right. Driver dot h maybe. Okay. Darwin driver. Thread safe. But not all functions can be called in a callback context. Okay, that's, I understand that. We hired this guy who worked at Google and he wrote code that looked like this. That kind of drove me crazy. Wait, I up. File doesn't exist. Depends on PoseNet. No such thing as test data PoseNet in new repository. Get clean XDF. All 
Nah, I, I give up on, on trying to use. Should I give up on trying to use this? The build file attribute does not specify an existing file. Oh, maybe we have to do make in here? Oh, there's a build file right there, I see it. Okay, error fetching repository. The build file does not specify an existing file. But this file exists. I think it's because it's like cached somehow. How do we clear the Basil cache? Basil clear cache. The repository cache. Okay. Error fetching repository. In new rule, external test data, the build face does not specify an existing file, but it does. You guys know what I'm doing wrong? Drift storage. I have four gigabytes now, I think. I don't know. Just clearing something on line 90. Where's even line 90, or 74? New local repository, build file, test data build. I go in here to test data and there's something called build. I get cleaned XDF'd it. Now I run make. This seems like a problem. Workaround. Do we touch it? Maybe we'll touch it. Let's touch it. Okay, I'm touching your file. All right, let's go. No. It didn't work. Okay. Change the build file to an invalid setting If you want to do caching, you better deal with invalidation better than this. Okay. Build 404 does not exist. Now I do. Oh, now we get a new error. Okay. The repository's path is user system libs. Absolute, but that doesn't exist. Okay. Well, that seems more reasonable. Okay. How, how bullshit was that? Oh, just rename it to something else and then name it back. Okay. I hate Docker. Shouldn't hate so much stuff, man. You shouldn't go through life hating so much stuff. All right, well, this, I don't need this repository because it looks stupid. All right, good, it's gone. Look, oh wow, we commented it out. Now it's gone. Oh, that's great. Wish I could comment out a lot of stuff and it'd be gone. Oh, well, we can't do DMA buff unless we have system Linux. Does this not build on Mac? Libcoral not for Mac? Xcode, Mac ports. Normal make should work as usual, but how is that supposed to work if it has system Linux? This is not meant to work. When's the last time anyone tested this on Mac? Hmm, libcoral API reference. Oh, this is assuming I got libcoral to build. Oh, here we go, the lib edge TPU API. Oh, okay. This just doesn't look too bad. We have lib edge TPU, we'll just code in this. Does this thing just have examples that we can not use lib coral? I know you. I know you like watching me code in, in C, so we'll code in C a little bit. I'm sorry, C plus plus.
You can only build with basil. What's a nice build system? Scones. Scones is nice. I like scones. Hmm. It took a long time to give me that error. Uh, we have edge TPU include. Let's find it out. TF Lite public edge TPU. Of course, yes, absolutely. Include TensorFlow Light Context. Oh, well, clearly. Twelve months, congratulations. Set up a Linux VM in VirtualBox and enable USB. Yes, that sounds great until you realize that VirtualBox will never be supported on the M1. But we're here to struggle. The point is the struggle. Is, is this Coral thing useful for anything at all? No way. My ARM chips on the M1, I'm sure, are a lot faster and inference on models than this. Nah, actually, maybe that's not exactly true, but the NPU is a lot faster if we can figure out how to use that. Um, okay. So are we going to have to build uh, TensorFlow? And this doesn't even include the compiler for the Edge TPU. Well, this is only trying to include something. So that seems OK. Does, does this thing link to? What is it on Mac? O tool. Yo. I would play some O Town right now, but it's copyrighted, sadly. I don't know why anyone would copyright any O Town. Uh, o Town. All right, that's not like this. Yeah, no copyright violation. Cause I want it all or nothing at all. There's nowhere left to fall when we reach the bottom. It's now or never. Is it all? Or are we just friends? Is this how it ends with a simple telephone call? You leave me here with nothing at all. All right, well. Do I just need to clone TensorFlow? All right, we'll clone TensorFlow. So we'll only get one because otherwise it's too big. Oh, update code of conduct. I wonder what they updated the code of conduct to add. Oh, spacing. We could have been somebody. Been around the first party. We tried for Molly. That one? Don't do Molly. Molly sucks. A space is required between consecutive writing. That's been required forever. Oh, maybe if I tell it it's like, what is this? Something like this. Oh, perfect. Wow, look at that progress we made. Um, all right, we just got a link now. Here. Throw that at the end. Type matic repeat. Edge TPL? Something like that. Lib not found. But it has a lib. I don't understand. I gave you a lib. Oh, maybe I gotta do that. 
Oh, ignoring file because it was built. Oh, well, of course, it built it for the wrong uh, architecture. What <laughs> a joke. Let's figure out how to get it to build for the right architecture. Darwin. CPU must be Darwin. Oh. I think, can I do like CPU is like Darwin AR64 or something? Something like this, isn't it? Um, Basil Darwin CPU. There we go. Darwin dash arm sixty four. It's a stupid error. Did not contain a tool chain. Oh, is it an underscore? Oh well, if it's an underscore, why don't you just tell me that? I knew it was an underscore. Oh, trust your instincts. Is that actually building? Yeah, yeah. Target ARM 64. Oh, the Flat Stanleys, man. Uh, any other songs? Yeah, uh, for when Grandpa meets Grandma again. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Just hold on and pretend she's okay this time. Just relax, please sit down. I know how you feel, we're all terrified. Just go home, there's nothing anyone here can do anymore. Just shut up and go to bed. There'll be lots of planning tomorrow morning. Seems okay. All right, we got it. Okay. Did find some useless junk. Library not found. Um, Dialid search path. Just do this. Uh, GCC R path. I'm gonna set this crap. Maybe that'll just work. work yo in my top five were dylon 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 and dylon <laughs> uh, right. dillard, Ooh, dillard print libraries oh we love dillard you know what's better than dillard just lid
Oh, we don't have a linker because that doesn't work. <laughs> die on, die on, die on, die on, die on. Was built for newer Mac. Oh, of course. Of course, boys. You got to set the R path correctly. Why'd you let me set the wrong R path? Don't let me do that. Oh, good look at that. Oh, it loaded. Oh, let's build an IO kit method by hand. That sounds fun. Bind. Great. Cool. Oh, my. I think we have code run. Uh, all right. We have a TPU context. Um, all right. All right, all right, all right, all right. We have a std unique pointer, tf light and turb. Oh my god, no. No, this is going to require me to link to. No. A lot of those tests that I cloned that are way too big for anything, right? Can I get a model from here? Perfect. Um, that sounds nice. Inception V4 299 quant edge TPU. Perfect. That's, that's my kind of model. Or we could load one of the invalid models. I mean, that sounds kind of interesting too, but... All right, use of unidentified identifier TF lit. Oh, that means we have to include TF lit. Black buffer model. Include model builder dot H. Oh, we have to go find model builder dot H. Before we know it, we're going to be building TensorFlow. Flat buffers. This is terrible. We're gonna have to build TensorFlow. You know, when we have to build TensorFlow, should we should we just give up and eat berries? Oh, all flat buffers are part of the third party. Oh my god. No. There's not even a flat buffers H. No. All right, all right, do we really need all this tip light crap? Resolver. What's a resolver? Oh, it's a tip light. Okay. What can I do with this TPU context? Oh, God. I need a tip light interpreter. What is TF light? Okay, let, let's first figure that out. Don't you think we should know? Right. TensorFlow light on GitHub. Okay, well, it's in TensorFlow, it's just light. Okay, how do I build TensorFlow light? See the documentation here. Build? Nope. Tutorials? Getting started. Mm, should we check out the free e-learning course on TensorFlow Lite? Oh, wow, I love ads. Thank you for the ad. Um. Learn more about the development workflow. No, this is assuming you already, okay. Building TensorFlow Lite. Oh, with CMake. Perfect. This looks very convenient. We're okay. here. Make dir TF Lite build. Okay. Okay. Hmm. 
Well, that's a shame. Mm, no, that. TensorFlow, TensorFlow Lite does not exist. But it does. Oh, maybe I have one too many dot TensorFlows in there? Oh, yes. Oh, this, I should really, okay. And yeah, okay, fine. I'm not, I'm not naming it TensorFlow Source, no. No, I refuse, we, we gotta draw a line somewhere. All right, all right. All right, it's only light, guys. It can't be building all of TensorFlow. This is gonna be, this is gonna be fun and easy. George is immune to distractions. What, is this, is this issue like, be like, it will never work on the M1? Cause fuck you. Oh, yes. Uh, under Vagrant, uh-huh. Yeah, but this is not an M1. Yeah, I can do it under Vagrant. Vagrant is virtual box wrapped. See, don't you love the struggle? I when I heard that I could buy an M1 and everything would be like, like it's like Mac OS, but even worse, and you can struggle to make everything work on your computer. I was like, this is perfect, and I'm actually legitimately excited about this. I submitted. You check my GitHub history. I fixed like five projects to work on M1. This is fun. Like we get to, you know, you get to be a part of something. Oh, okay. All right. This looks good so far. I like all the green. Oh, green. Oh, green's such a nice color. She said it's just a headache. She said it's nothing more. Green. What, you guys don't love watching it compile? Oh my god. <laughs> Building TensorFlow broke Twitch. Don't worry, we'll be back soon. Oh shit. My mouse isn't even moving now. No! Need more RAM! <laughs> no! No! No, we gotta download RAM! Are we here? Alright, let's see if we can nice OBS. You wanna try to nice OBS? Whoa! It says only we've dropped 12 frames. No F, no! I don't think it's nice, I think it's RAM. Oh my god, look, HTOP won't even load. Wow, it's all in the kernel. Oh, we shouldn't have done J. J might have been a little much. Don't worry. We'll be back soon. We'll be back soon. No. <laughs> look how many it launched. This is bullshit. Okay. All right, guys. I'm back. Can I not compile on core zero? No, that's not the problem. Okay. Yeah, uh, so I shouldn't have done J. Let's do a casual J3. What do y'all think? J3. All right, we're back. We're back. Chill, chill, we're back. Mm. We did J3 instead of J bajillion. If you just do J, what does J do? If you just do J without a number. We just did J. I think J will just do as many as it possibly can. Oh my God, if you give J without an argument, it just does a bajillion. 
Why is it there? <laughs> is Mank Jay as dangerous as it would seem to be? If so, why on earth is it there? And what can be done to idiot proof it? <laughs> what do you mean we're back? Nothing's a problem now. It's, it's still lagging. Only the video's fucked up. What do you mean the video looks fine? Is it not good? We're back. Yeah, we did J3. <laughs> <Just> <laughs> Why can we turn to idiot proof? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, guys, I'm too stupid for Meg J. <laughs> can we go to the next slide? I get what you guys are saying. No, it's funny. It's funny. How much money did I make? Oh, why do you care, man? Why do you care? You want to know how long my dick is, too? It's longer than yours. That's straight. That's straight. All right, we're back. Wow, we even built TensorFlow Lite. Oh, this is this is great. Okay, okay, okay. This is very exciting. This is very exciting. We've built TensorFlow Lite. Okay. Do we, does this include the includes? So we can define model buffers dot h. No. Um, it's an R archive, great. Uh, all right. I don't know. We built TensorFlow Lite. That's great. We, we've made immense progress. Um, all right. Now we just need to get a TIFF Lite interpreter. The std unique pointer. Oh yeah, that doesn't seem too bad. Use of undeclared identifier tf light. Mm. Seems like the right thing to include. Yo, does anyone want to subscribe to my stream so I can buy a better computer? Okay, good, 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 good. The link works. Now we just, no, that works. So now we just need to link to it. Do we get any dilibs or do we only get dot A's? We only got dot A's, okay. Subscribe, thank you, Vols. Please subscribe to my stream. I want to know subscribers are better than non-subscribers. Sometimes they're so much better that we only let the subscribers talk. Think about all the non-subscribers screaming about miscensorship. Miscensorship, okay. Um, well, oh, I gotta, gotta suppress the scope, man. Gotta suppress the scope, okay. Is this in anything, or just, just like you can't link to it? Oh, well, okay, let's let's link to Gep's Rui Build Rui. I hope there's not like seven more of these. And this is the only one. Please let it be the only one. What is Rui anyway? Yo, can one of you guys figure out what Rui is and tell me why I want it? Okay. Hmm? Jocker. <laughs> Jocker. Docker for jocks. Jocker. Uh, I'm sorry. I deeply apologize about the J's, everybody. What is Rui? Hmm. The Rui Multrix Multiplication Project. This is not an official supported Google project. Its focus is to cover the matrix multiplication needs of neural network infrastructures. So this year has been tender, ten, TensorFlow, TenderFlow Lite. Oh. Whatever. Oh. Oh. Good. Oh, Rui. This directory will eventually contain Rui documentation. Okay, well, that's a good directory. It's good that they made a directory for that. It will eventually contain documentation. Okay, so we, we've gotten to the interpreter. Now, can we use a resolver? Oh, is this going to work? No. No. That doesn't work. That was, that was too much to ask for. Um... I don't know, 
let's just include all those. Back to flat buffers. I don't have any flat buffers. Okay, we need flat buffers. Oh, flat buffers. Oh, does it have flat buffers.h? Oh, include flat buffers. All right, all right, progress. Let's just conveniently go. Yeah, you know what? I could probably set up a Basil build system and do this all in Basil. All right, well, now we need XNN. Do we have XNN? Oh, convenient, we do. Okay. Um. XNN define static resize bilinear 2D. All right, good, good, good. It's just this one. That doesn't look too bad. Right. We'll link XNN pack too. See, look, we've learned about Rui, and now we're going to learn about XNN pack. Uh, let's just say depth sequels. I don't know why I decided I want to clean that one up. It's all disgusting. I feel like there's going to be more depths. Okay, depths is not fair. Well, we need a p-thread pool, of course. Hmm, perfect. Let's figure out which which of the depths includes. Why aren't I watching some guys in tight shorts kick a ball in a triangle? Oh, well, I mean, that does sound that does sound tempting. I'm 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 tempted by that, but no. Watch the sports ball. Eat the bugs. X and N pack. Oh, per thread pool. Okay, well, per thread pool, of course, is not a DEP. It just shows up here in the builds. And now, and now you see why all these .a files are so large. Okay, well, we're gonna need CPU info too, which is probably another. Wow, wow, this is this 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 started out fun and then it became so many dependencies. See, and like you try to link one Google thing and then you get all this. Alright, like should there be a point where I just stop doing this and say like enough is enough? Or are we learning? And there has to be some better way to, to link to all this, okay. Uh, well, which one do we want to link to? Do we want to link to FFT or FFT2D? Don't worry, I'm sure we'll have to do both eventually. But we might not have to do both at once, so we can you know, pretend we don't have to do both and then actually end up doing both. Okay, well, no such directory there. Um, I don't get it, because that seems like that's the directory. Oh, I did depth T. Oh, we need, yep. I, I, I. Okay, okay. Uh, are we getting close? I think, I feel like we're getting close. 
This, this can't go on forever, can it? I'm gonna need another. Right, we just need some clogs. All right, Google, of course, we're gonna have to include Google special, uh, you know, logging library. By the way, this is just to, code has gotten way too complex, you know? Let clog dot in. Let's learn about clog. Google clog. Oh, clog, a free app, especially. Oh, yeah, great. It's my whole wholesale. Clever log. Oh, is that what it is? Okay, we just last one. Fingerprint sixty four. Okay, this we have to be coming to an end. Oh, lib farm hash. Of course, of course, we need lib farm hash. What is this? Farm hash provides hash functions for strings and other data. The functions mix the input bits thoroughly, but are not suitable for cryptography. No. Oh. And it comes with list bindings. Why is this a thing? Um, yes. Okay. All right, good, good, good. We're, we're, we're making progress. There, there can't be too much more of this. Okay, we have a resolver now. Now can we load the model? Let's see if we can load the model. Let's try to load the model. Um, just we have some satisfying output. My face isn't in the way, is it? That's over there, it's kind of on the way. Cool, model loaded, all right. All right, well, let's add a custom resolver here. And then, of course, we're gonna to need to run the interpreter builder. And we're gonna to need to bind the context to the inter... Are these even things? Like, or do these people just spend their life writing boilerplate code? All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's allocate tensors, and then let's invoke. And then when we're done, we'll reset it, and we'll reset the TPU context. Okay, great. Um, uh, did boilerplate. Um, ran model. Okay, did that just run on my, it's warm. All right, um, now we just need to prepare the input tensor. Somehow we need to get a picture into C++. Oh, that sounds like a nightmare. All right, let's download a nice picture of a banana. Hmm, it's a nice picture. You guys like the banana picture? Oh, then I'm gonna have to like resize it. Oh, that sounds awful. Who can do anything in C? Nobody. Oh, it's a WebP. No, I want a JPEG picture of banana. Why would I want a WebP picture of a banana? Time doesn't know about WebPs. They, they use JPEGs. Knew it. Yeah, that's right. I got rid of quality 70. Now we have a... No. Yes, I want a large picture of banana. Okay. Banana.jpg. Let's just take a look. All right, what do we think, guys? It's a pretty nice banana, right? All right, sweet. Mm. What can we learn from the near death of the banana? Nothing, fuck the news. Um, what can we learn? Like, we're all in this together, man. We're all in this together. Stop with your astroturfing bullshit. Right, let's go. Guys, they're not gonna they're not gonna cancel. If if they come for me, if they come for me, then like there's really no hope, man. Like there's really no hope. I have relatively non-offensive opinions about most things. Uh you know, of 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 uh, if they if they come for me, man. If they come for me, this country's done. If they come for me, this country, I'm, I'm moving, I'm leaving. I'm leaving, like, fuck this, man. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I love the front pops.
They come for me. Fuck this shit, man. I go so deep underground. Uh, it's the most default banana. Yeah, we eat default bananas around here. Okay. Now. Okay. We allocate the tensors. Let's try, let's just Google lib edge TPU example. Oh, no, 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 this is using the lib coral API. We don't have that. Here we go. Minimal. Oh, they, they, this guy wrote a, he hand wrote a, a BMP decoder. And to use lib coral. Wow. Wow. Okay. All right, so we interpret. Oh no, 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 don't try to get me to link to, no, this, there's no way this is gonna work. You ever try to link to OpenCV? It never works. Okay. Let's, let's give it a brief try. Okay. Brew install OpenCV? Russia because I'm not like a political dissident the last thing I ever want to be is some shit to your dissident man I'll move somewhere nice like Malaysia you know and be like wow and then I then and then you know oh, no, no no don't no 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 don't no don't don't install that stuff no, no please I just want open CV just 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 open CV Please, only open CV. Don't try to install Python 3.9. That's the one that, no, no Python 3.9. Please don't, please don't. Oh. I mean, I think that's what all the smart people did when, like, you know, like, shitty people came in power in their country. They were just like, peace out, brah. You can't just put an endel alone like that. It doesn't do anything. Does it? Can you call endel? No, you can't call endel. You know, I'm not including iostream.h. Segmentation fault 11. last place I want to go to Brazil is with some like crazy high murder rate. So now I get this from people. They think I'm like some like right wing guy or I want some like right wing bullshit. Fuck that. Yo, all I want is Malaysia. Malaysia. What do you guys think? Malaysia. You know, I'm not saying like, look, this place hasn't really gone to shit yet. Like there's a lot of talk about it going to shit. 
And like, yeah, I mean, you know, if we get like 10x inflation and like if it goes to shit, well, you know what's cool about having skills? They're up here, man. I'll go to Malaysia. Malaysia, the, you know, you know, comma will be valued in useless Fed coin. I'll be like, ah, peace out, man. Enjoy. Enjoy trying to make sense of any of that shit. Enjoy trying to make sense of any of that shit in your broken ass regime. That's right. You be corrupt, you get a broken ass regime, and all the talented people go to Malaysia. Ooh, that sounds nice. My former president. Yo, I don't get it. I don't get why people like identify with this. Like, like he's some dude who lives like three thousand miles away. It doesn't really affect my life very much. Like I said in I said in that song about coronavirus, I'm like, okay, fine. You've made me fucking care. Because, you know, you, you closed the restaurant down. And I like going to the restaurant. You closed the restaurant. So now I got to be like, yo, this is bullshit. Don't close my restaurant, right? And then, like, you know, it's the kind of thing where if the rest of the world, you know, it turns out the rest of the world's run by the same wackos. Uh, so, you know, they all close their restaurants, too. Because, oh, my God, my virus. Oh, my virus. It might kill somebody. Uh, so, you know, we got to shut down all the restaurants. There's nowhere to even go. There's no restaurants. So, like, you know, I took a road trip to South Dakota. It was, like, nice to, like, not have masks. But then, like, you realize you're in South Dakota. It was kind of like, ugh. Does Malaysia have the infrastructure? Yes, Kuala Lumpur is, like, a beautiful city. It's, like, probably what Singapore was, like, 30 years ago. Oh, I come at the recent hacker attacks. I, honestly, I barely even know what you're talking about. Like someone made a joke about some like, some like rant. Oh God. Current events are so worthless. So worthless. All the news is written by the CIA, man. It's all written by the CIA. It doesn't matter whether that's true or not. It's like a fact, you know? Oh, yeah, great saying. Maybe I said it on one of my streams. It's like, you know, in China, nobody reads the news because they all know it's propaganda. Americans haven't figured that out yet. Well, we're going to try to put the banana into the model and see if the model likes to eat bananas. But um, so far, we haven't had much luck with this. We run the model, but then there's apparently no output vector from it. I don't know, do we have an MNIST model over here? Maybe we have an MNIST model. MNIST is a lot easier to deal with. MNIST? Oh, Coco, checker, dog, download, hotdog.jpg. Oh, hotdog.jpg. Let's take a look at it. Ew. That is hot dog, but... Is Malaysia the new America? You want to see where countries are good? Look at how they feel about capitalism. Like, I moved to like Malaysia or Vietnam, something like that. I know people have already done it. If I didn't have calm, I might have already done it. There is a question of like what's actually going to shit and how much of it's all propaganda. Computer, so I want to get rid of the lag so I could talk to you about it. I'm not banned. Guys, if they come for me, there is a very serious problem. Um No, what was I going to say? Uh, I thought about it. You know, I thought about it like seven years ago. Uh, I don't know if... I'll mention this quickly. Like, I don't know if you all remember Gamergate. But like, you look at shit like that, you kind of see where things are going. And you're like, oh, do I really want to be around for this? Um, and, you know, my answer was kind of that like, I think the decline takes a long time. Uh, it just sucks. Like, it's just, it's just, 
You know, it'll recover. The world will recover stronger. America's hegemony sucked. Like, it stifled so much, like, innovation in countries. Um, you know, America, it's like Google. I, it's like, this is why we have no real competitive maps. Uh, I mean, we kind of do now with Apple, but like you have this, you have this duopoly ecosystem and they're, they're kind of like, are Google and Apple ideologically opposed? I mean, not even, right? It's like the U S and, and, uh, and Europe. Um, so you don't have diversity, uh, Yeah, I mean, America, the scams are really bad. The, the, there is very little incentive as an individual anymore to produce anything of value. Like, you can scam so easily. I don't know. You know, I got a sense of morals. And I don't mean that in the sense like, like, I wish I didn't, man. Like, I don't mean that in, like, some, like, I'm not trying to, like, moralize at all, because I hate people who do that. Like, I don't even blame the scammers. I blame the system. Uh, some days I wish I could wake up and be a scammer. What if you eat bugs and you love the taste of bugs? Why would you not want to eat the bugs? The bugs are delicious! Um... Yeah, chief diversity. Oh, look, I mean, you can go into what that is. That's existed a lot of times before. Uh, yeah, you put your, you put, your, you know, you got to get your, uh, you got, you got to, you understand that if you, uh, you know, you got to put the member of the Nazi party on the board, right? You want to do business here in Nazi Germany, you put a member of the Nazi party on the board, right? You got to show that you're, you know, aligned with the party, man. Um... <laughs> Political concepts, yeah. And like, you know, this is still America and, and there is still, uh, it's not Nazi Germany. Like that's kind of, it's, it's, it's a ridiculous comparison. But, you know, it's not all, it's not all sunshine and roses here. Sweden, maybe Sweden's okay. I don't know. I remember I heard about a uh, jaunt law and I couldn't believe it. Uh, this is the, I, I went to Sweden. I went to Sweden for the Nobel Prize ceremony. And um, like, you are not to think you are anything special. You are not to think you're as good as we, like, I just like read this and <sighs> there has to be some middle ground. There has to be some middle ground between like this and like, America, it's like, I'm special for being a dumbass. Woo! Celebrate me! You know, there has to be some middle ground between that and, like, you know. I mean, I wish the middle ground was legit meritocracy. It was like, you know, you want to show you're special? Here's the contest. Win it. Oh, I hated Portugal. I hated Portugal. Um, there's a comma office in Rotterdam. Maybe I'll seriously go live there for a bit. It might be kind of nice. What country promotes value creation the most? Right now? Well, here. Um, sentiments on capitalism around the world, right? Mm. It's a fucking 
agenda pushers. Uh, does more harm than good in the world. The Edelman Trust Barometer 2020. This is not what I want. Can you guys link to the good version of this? <laughs> this is a great quote. It's like, I'd rather you use my CPU to mine cryptocurrency than use my fucking speakers. <laughs> um, I want a survey. Survey right. Uh, maybe is this, no, what, like, what are those websites that have like these good, those good things? Uh, Econo no, 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 I don't want economic freedom index. I, I want one specific thing. Um, I want the... No, 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 no. I don't want. I want. I want to know if people approve of capitalism. That means the country is aligned with value creation. Can I see this per country? Uh, okay, so no, 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 this isn't right. Because the country, Malaysia is much higher than this. They... <sighs> Approval rating of capitalism. This is all junk. Yeah. Support for free market system. So these are the countries that are aligned with value creation right there. The search is terrible. I know. I know. Remember, it's not search. It's ads. They're not trying to give you information. They're trying to give you propaganda. And you hope you guys realize that ads and propaganda are the same thing, right? Like, it's propaganda when the government does it, but an ad when a company does it? No, it's all propaganda. Vietnam number one on there? Yeah. <clears throat> um. I'm surprised. This is 2014 as well, yes. God, 
No. I wish I could just say minus news. Wait, I don't want to look this up anymore. But yeah. The more countries are pro-free market, like the more the average person is pro-free market. Um, no. HDI does not correlate to what I'm looking for. Vietnam. Yeah, I would go to Vietnam. I don't think Vietnam's HDI is that high. It's rising, but... It's not that high. Moving to Vietnam. I do really like it there. News, 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 news. I mean, maybe this is okay. Easy place to visit. Visa runs. You're not going to get permanent residence. It's iron. It's ironic they call themselves communists. You know, it says like, it's on my leg. It's like the communist people's thing, Vietnam. Mm. Are we going to hire an army? No, it's a very safe country. <laughs> Look at that. Two and a half times lower than the U.S. Explicitly marked deleted here. Um, yeah, probably south, like Ho Chi Minh City. Um, Let's look at a map, and you can tell a lot by geography. Bye, San Diego! Oh, yeah, Cambodia. Cambodia is a wild place I hear, too. I haven't been yet. <clears throat> oh, you're Vietnamese, staying in Ho Chi Minh City. Cool. weather like AW tropical savanna climate hey, here we go mm -hmm. pretty hot a little too hot it's wet though which is Laos is still a CIA holdout. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a decent ease of doing business. See, that's what I like. I like that Malaysia ranks highly on things like this. 
Um, you know, I've also heard good things about Denmark recently. Can you not do business at all in Vietnam? Where is it? Oh, 70. I thought it was pretty bad. Yeah, no, I probably would do Malaysia. Joe Horberu, there's all these tales online of how like Singaporeans are scared of this city. It's like, oh, there's so much crime in Joe Horberu. And you like look it up and you're like, oh, no, it's actually super safe. It's just people in Singapore are scared. Move to Africa. I've never been to Africa. Um. I mean, I don't think any of those countries are going to be very high on the ease of doing business. You know, I, I hear just everything's like impossible there. Like you want to just like. It's Lithuania. Oh. Hmm. Eastern Bloc's an interesting area of the world as well. Internet connectivity is poor? Where? In Africa? Yeah, Africa's not for me. It's hard to get electricity in New Zealand. So what is that? Getting credit. Oh. What does Malaysia rank poorly on? Oh, starting a business is hard. Construction permit? Yeah. We do love credit in America. Very easy to get credit. I'm sorry, Estonia too. I, I, people like made crypto companies. They based them out of Estonia. Hmm. Eastern Europe's a special place where things are cheap, but people are smart. Well, I mean, this is always something to consider. <coughs> it's interesting though, like, you know, you get to, you get to some of these countries and like, I, I think there's a bimodal distribution. Um, I mean, I don't know if that's actually backed by data, but. Poland. And Texas left the US. God. Guys, they're not better. Okay? Okay, yes, Texas leaves the US with some ultra conservative, gun loving, no abortion, uh, you know, uh, mandatory church attendance. Like, they're not better, okay? They're just a different kind of shitty Puritan. Check out Georgia. I've heard good things about Georgia. 
No, not the state. Parentheses country. Google knows what I want. Oh, wow, that worked. Smart Google. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. My neighbors are a little like, you know. Where is where is Chechnya? Uh, uh, I went to Serbia once. I don't know. Isn't there like still some war here? I'm not like I'm not, I'm not going to some place where there's a war. <sighs> yeah, like there's a lot of war around here. Uh. Oh, there's like a little war going on here. Um, where's there no war? Yeah, war. Just end the war. No, no, no. I'm a, I'm a, but look, there's three types of people who get into like situations like when they're like confronted, right? There's people who fight, there's people who flight, and there's people who freeze up, right? Um, and... You know, you're just one of these types of three people. Uh, I'm a flea guy. I'm a I'm a runaway guy. You know, that's that's who I am. That's you know. Um, I'm an Australian citizen. But no, I, I've heard. Uh, yeah, yeah, I've heard. I've heard Australia suffers from a lot of the same problems as the U.S. Uh, without a lot of the benefits. Base coward. Oh, Georgia is great, and war is extremely unlikely to happen considering there's constant NATO presence. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to be around when NATO falls, man. I don't want to be around when NATO, but like, like, you know. Putin's just gonna, just gonna push him. He's gonna push him. You know, he's just pushing. He's pushing. He's pushing. And like, like America's gonna be forced into like one of two. NATO's gonna be forced into one of two positions. Right? Like, stop trying to expand NATO. Like, defend and fortify. Uh, never mind. I don't care about this. I don't care about this. My point is, if there's war, not me. It's either Southeast Asia, Northern Europe, or America. You don't think Eastern Europe? Oh, look, an ad for go-karts and an ad for In-N-Out. Thank you for your subtle ads, Google. Don't you guys love subtle ads? Like, you think it's just, oh, a restaurant. No, it's an ad. Mmm. Back to banana programming? Okay, you're a subscriber. I'll listen to you. All right, um, so there has to be some, okay, TF Lite Interpreter Builder. What's an interpreter? Let's, let's look up the API to this thing and see what we can query. Uh, how do we get, like, the number of inputs? Okay, so I should be able to say... Interpreter inputs dot size. Okay, we have one input and one output. Oh, is it upset because it's not a float and it's actually a Yeah, it might be upset because it's not a float. 
maybe it's an int. Limitation fault 11. Oh, did it lit up? Oh, look, it lit up. Look, it lights up. Yeah, look at that. All right, well, that doesn't work. Um, turn a mutable pointer. Right, TF light tensor tens equals interpreter output tensor zero. Does anybody actually use any of this stuff? What's a TF light tensor? Dot data. Okay. How come typed out potential doesn't work? Is that even the one that's crashing? How do we get the size of a tensor? It's not crashing. It's not like Resize tensor. Get. All right. I don't know. I want to try the names. I think that works. Might have been optimized out. So I didn't use it. No, I guess not, because it doesn't know that it's, it's not a functional language. Okay. In, input, output, inception, logits, predictions. Okay, that seems reasonable. Now, what's the problem? If I try to actually print one of these? Actually, I don't know what's the point. I should just be able to do that, right? So that doesn't work. Oh, you know what I might, you know what it might be? Something like that. If you like don't put the right type, it's like you don't get a pointer. I return you null. Ah, oh, there we go, beautiful. Mm, this probably isn't actually the output size. We don't know how to get the output size, but we'll just do it. All zeros. I hope you like zeros. Return the number of tensors and then I'll type tensor. Variables, size. All right. I think it might be time. We have something very special for this stream. Very special. We bought it this morning. Just for this stream. Monster Energy! This stream is brought to you by Monster Energy. Green Monster Energy. <clears throat> I haven't had one of these in years. Is that 7 Eleven? Oh, it smell. Oh, that, that nasty monster smell. Oh, man, this is so drugs. Oh, this is so. This is so. How is this legal? This is just drugs, man. Oh. Dude, these things really fuck you up too. Wow, look at all the stuff that's in here. I used to drink like two of these every day. And it comes from Corona, California, one monster way. This is where monster comes from.
right next to piece T. Ah, mm. ah, oh. oh, that both nasty and delicious at the same time. Monster energy flavor. I don't even know what competes with it. The answer, nothing. Okay, um. Mm. All right, I have an idea. You know what, guys? You ready for some big brain shit? Python. Read.py. Import pill. Pill.image banana.jpg. See, we have a sip of monster, and then we get brilliant ideas that don't have us loading JPEGs in, in bullshit C. All right. Um, the pill load resize. I'm also gonna. Um, I'm also gonna write banana.jpg. Yep. And then we're gonna resize the image. What's our new size? It's gotta be 299 by 299. And then we're going to load out the pixels. Pill pixels python. Get pixel method. All right, that sounds kind of nice. Uh, there has to be just a way to get like the data, right? Get data, sounds nice, beautiful. Both know she's lying. She won't get off the floor. No. Beautiful. Model objects not called. It's open. Beautiful. Okay. Ah. Uh, I just need something to convert that into RG. Dat. Oh, that's a nice looking banana. All right, now we can load in that shit. Open banana dot dat. Banana. Can we play some Creative Commons Oregon Trail music? Oregon Trail. Song by Royalty Free Music Company. They're probably not royalty free. That's terrible. You can't copyright MIDI, can you? Oregon Trail non-copyrighted music. Wow, some guy just called himself Oregon Trail.
that was pleasant. Oh, okay, all right, look, we got some numbers, boys. We got some numbers. Let's figure out which one of them is banana. Banana, dum, 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 ba -da -dum. Um. <laughs> I put so bring up. The world could not give a fuck. My friends are happy, I'm happy. I've learned to adapt. It's a darker kind of humor, but I could still hear him laugh. Let's just do the ones that are greater than one. We have this in uh, Tiny Red, don't we? Top category is 645. Maypole? What's a maypole? Whoa! I've never heard of this. Oh. Wow, so it looks like pagan shit, man. I love pagan shit. Can we celebrate Maypole Day? Wait, where can I go in the United States? Um, whoa. Is it going to be like Juneteenth and then we can have Maypole Day? I don't know, man. This sounds pretty nice. We can have a festival of... Is it spring? Oh, no, we missed that. Oh. All right, let's see. Maybe this one's more accurate. A conch! All right, what if I don't load in the banana? Oh, is it supposed to be a grayscale banana? Okay, it's the same if I don't load in the banana. That's concerning. Did I get my freed even right? Looks like it reads a lot. Is that a lot? Okay. But it now puts the same thing, whether I load in the... Oh, we gotta run the model again! Oh! All right, all right, all right. Now that we've loaded in the banana. Wow, so the default and all black screen is a maypole. I don't know what that says. Oh! Oh, what's 9.55? Jackfruit! Wait, who thinks we got an off by one error, boys? I think we got an off by one error, because look what's right above it. Banana, wow. Whoa. All right, all right, all right. We'll, we'll, we'll relax the output restriction. Does it say it could be anything besides that banana? It knows it's banana. Wow, just subtract one from the result. Good point. Wait, what do I do when it's zero though? You can't always just subtract one from the result. What if subtracting one from the result doesn't, maybe it's a jackfruit. <laughs> um, I mean, this has gotta be, maybe, I don't know. Let's check. Where are the lists? Uh, ImageNet labels. Oh, look, yeah, and this one it's banana. Okay. Oh, background. Oh, they just added background, okay. I was gonna wonder what label they censored. Boom. 
Now when we go to 9.55, we know it's a banana. No, it's not an off by one. No, 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 it's just, it's just here. I just had the wrong, now that I loaded the right thing, because they added background as the first category. I thought they were gonna like remove one category. That's like the one they censored, man, like suicide. Can't say that anymore, man. Someone might do it if they read the word. Watch out, man. People are susceptible to ideas. Uh, do we want to test the different fruit just, just to be 100% sure? File called data mv dot dot slash banana star here. Um, let's throw some args in here. I'll push this to GitHub if anybody wants it. Um, dialon, 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 and Dylon. Uh, the internet said I had Tourette's. And by the internet, I mean my. Oh, yo! I downloaded all my DNA. You guys want to mess with my DNA? We can. We can do that. Um, edge TPU test. All right. What else should we take a picture of? Does anyone have another picture? Clean fucking typewriter. The judge shit. Build beneficial and privacy preserving AI. Buy our shitty little chip. By the way, speaking of buying things, has anybody considered purchasing a Patriot Edition comma two dev kit? Notice how red is in quotes because the color is kind of like, it's not, it's like that's the color. It's not exactly uh, red. Wait, I have an idea for an image right here. Let's go. What is it? Let's find out. Uh, let's rename it to add.jpg. And then let's use read on data add.jpg. Let me check data. Okay, we have add.dat. Okay, now let's a.out add.dat. Oh. oh, okay. All right. It's pretty sure it's a 665, but it might also be a 917. A monitor, that's pretty good. What else we got? A website. Oh, wow, that's pretty good. <laughs> um, what does it think that it maybe could be? Maybe, let's see. A comic book, oh, I mean, okay, okay, you can see where it's coming from. George, try a muffin. All right, all right, one muffin. All right, we'll do one muffin. All right, that's a good muffin. This is gonna be a web pea muffin, I can smell it already. Oh, muffin.jpg, read, data, Muffin.jpg. Wow, are we doing inference on the Google TPU? Aren't you so glad that we bought one of these and followed these really complicated examples when we could probably just upload it to a website? All right. It's a 965, but it might also be a 416. A 965 is a pot pie. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, it could also be a bakery. Mmm, I don't think they have muffin. They do not have muffin. Does the title of the JPEG matter? No. Didn't you, didn't, don't you guys follow the code? How could the title of the JPEG matter?
Does anybody want this repo? And if you say yes, you're lying, because then you would have had to purchase a Google Coral. Oh man, banana's my favorite. It knows, it's solid about banana. Wow, two sips of Monster, I'm already fucked up on Monster. Beware dick pics or TOS. Oh no, guys, when they ban me, you know, I heard a story once, this is in the New York Times, it was in government approved media, about a man in Egypt who wanted the Muslim Brotherhood to take power. And the guy was saying this when he was sitting in the back of a cab smoking some hashish. And the other guy in the cab, you know, the New York Times reporter was like, uh, bro, you know, if they take power, you're not gonna be allowed to do that anymore. And he's like, yeah, I know. It would be nice how it stopped. Maybe I'd stop, you know, I'd get out of other bad habits too. I thought that was kind of interesting. Uh, so yeah, you know. Wouldn't it be easier to just take X key score and extract it? GitHub Copilot is good? I don't know. I don't know. You can download it yourself. Okay, everybody can go purchase a Google Coral if they would like uh, to do this. No, all right, let's take a look at what it's doing. All right, you guys ready to start? You ready to start the real part of the stream? You think this stream, we're just gonna look at, you know, soggy muffins all day? No, no, we're not looking at soggy muffins. All right, lib USB control read. Oh yeah, all right. I think this shit works on Mac. So the only real way to like reverse engineer huge messes of code, I mean, you can do it if you want to try to read it, but sometimes it's even quicker to just, you know, build some interceptor libraries. So let's just intercept what's being sent uh, to the thing. And we're gonna have to hook it. This is actually gonna break it. I think it's gonna break that. No, um, it should be linked to that though. It is using that. How do I do flat, dilid flat namespace? Yeah, yeah, you gotta force a flat namespace. Ah, uh, something like flag for that. The flat namespace linker flag. I'm trying. Do I need a WL on there? No, it doesn't work. Oh, no, there's another problem. Who knows what I did? Who knows what I did? I should have left flat namespace. No, is that how I do X turn C? Right.
No, we're not detecting a hammer. We're not detecting anything else. We're trying to intercept the USB calls from the library. Uh, I don't understand why that doesn't work. Dialid force flat namespace. Something like. Yeah, yeah, dialid force flat namespace. It's like something like this. Perfect. Yes, it's here. Okay. And then we're gonna have to like DL open live USB and stuff so we can pass it through. Um, can I do DL sim RTLD next? Why do I doubt that works? I do this in the guy. I do this kind of hooking in uh, in Open Pilot in here. Reinterpret cached. Arguments to function call. Expected one, have eight. Oh. Wait, what? Oh, God, what am I doing? Down here. Yeah, we don't even care about rat. Okay. Um, so what's important here? All right, now we can intercept all the libUSB control transfers. Here we go. So now you have all the complicated bullshit that gets sent to a USB coral to do basically nothing. Oh, but it's doing inference of a whole model. Yeah, I know. I've heard. Okay, so what we did was this intercepts all the calls to the thing. 
but actually it looks like all the USB control transfers already happened. So let's intercept the other type. It's a USB bulk transfer. Trying to figure out what the how this Google Coral thing actually works. I looked into it a little bit before the stream started, and it turns out that it's actually just like it's pre-compiled by the compiler, and the compiler is probably where all the interesting stuff happens. But it's nice to at least have a you know a look here. Um, Stupid. Let's label a few of these. Actually, I don't even really think these didn't even look useful. It's just look like setup boilerplate. Well, I guess that's how it loads the model. Um, endpoint data length. All that matters. The data doesn't even really matter. Uh, if statement has empty body, what? How does that end up? not doing any bulk transfers. And how is it running the model again? Look here, so we have like ran model again. Um, oh no, is it using the asynchronous API? Oh, this looks so difficult. Oh, that sounds like exactly something Google would do. I actually have the code for this. can see what it's using. Well, the USB printer bulk transfer. I should be hooking that. I don't understand why I'm not. Wait. Or did I did I try to run it in there? Okay, libusb bulk transfer. I labeled it correctly. Is this one getting called? George, you can load it in a debugger and do this in a debugger. You ever use a debugger? Oh, all right, good, great. It uses alloc transfer. Oh, great. Oh, this is this is amazing. Oh, I gotta make this thing work. Okay. Well, don't you just love? Oh, USB submit transfer. Oh, great.
Look, we're doing hacking. Who loves hacking? Well, look, we're doing hacking. This hacking, boys. Look, we're hacking things. Great. So now we have all those things being submitted. Let's look at the struct of a libusb transfer. Um, include libusb.h. Should work. Should get you too much. Ain't only our libusb not found. Um, bother intercepting that one. Alright, now we can look at the times. A bitwise or combination endpoint. So for reference, by the way, when you add this, so these these are in um, endpoints, and actually we'll. So if if it has a, if it has the eight, it's in, and if it has the uh, so these are out. Like here we go. So this is it transferring over. Actually, probably the weights. It's probably doing the weights dynamically here. Um, this is probably here where it transfers the, uh, so it sets up the DMA request, transfers this, transfers that, constantly blitting weights, and then here it gets back the, uh, the input. function will submit a transfer and return immediately. But I never receive a callback. Oh, there's a callback in there? Is that in this struct? Only in the struct. Buffer, yeah, callback, all right, cool. So I'm gonna hook the callbacks. Um, we can cook. We can hook the callbacks and see what that's actually getting back. Or we can. Uh,
Where do my parentheses match? These are probably the weights being transferred. Oh, interesting. This is not what I expected from those eight. I expected that to be some kind of like setup thing. Not just a weird continuation of, am I just not? Oh, oops. Duh. Dum -da dum dum. Why do they all look the same? Oh, you're the dum. Hi, cool. Now I actually don't. Them. Yeah. So this is probably an address, and then this is that data. Actually, that might even just be a length. Yeah, it's the length. Okay. So you see how this here is the length. It probably specifies the tensor, total length tensor. For some reason it's reloading tensor zero with something that's slightly different in size. Let's dump a little more. Lucy Harris smart, smart, smart. Lucy Harris smart. Dum 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 dum. So where's my banana? That's my banana. Is that my banana? Let's see. Edge tipio test. Yeah, that's my banana, right? So you see my banana right there? You can see it, just see how to... Guys, sometimes you just start, you know, you just stop seeing the code, man, and you just start seeing blonde, brunette, redhead, it's just like that. Why don't I troll like Scurly? Look where Scurly is, man, fucking jail. I want to go to jail. I respect the troll, but you know, jail's not for me, man. I'm not a jail guy. Like some guys, they're just jail guys. Like they're going to jail. It's a question of when they're going to jail, right? Like they're crooked and they piss off the wrong kind of people. Like, you know, like if I piss you off and you put me in jail, the thing about that is like, Like, you could do it, but it wouldn't do anything, right? Like, you, you go you go, and you're like, oh, that guy, he murdered somebody, or that guy, he scammed investors out of money, right? Like, society feels this. You gotta just look at the narrative, man. Oh, this isn't, oh, this isn't the Scott Alexander story. I love the idea. It's like, look, I know that I can just like walk into this bar, even though like I'm a real bad guy and like, you know, I know, I know that like I can just walk into this bar and I'm safe because this isn't how I'm gonna die. Right? Like, like there's gonna be like a big setup. There's gonna be like a big buildup. I'm too important of a character to to, you know, just be like shot in some random bar. So that's not what's gonna happen. Right? It's like that. You always gotta think about the narrative continuity and stuff. And like, uh, you know, like you can put me in jail, but like, what's the narrative, man? That. Mm. You think that's enough coral? We we're just getting started with the coral. What's interesting is that 
kicking off the inference. Oh, okay, I think this is actually the transfer of the program here. It's weird though, because it's, it's... I mean, that definitely is the length, so I'm pretty confident if I type in hex 16, hex, you know, that, and get that. Let's put the control transfers back in, because we know they are happening, but... I don't think they're very relevant. No, like it's before it even opens the device. It's useless. Yeah, there's just some boilerplate cramp. So who thinks now we can drive the coral from Python using libUSB? Should that be our goal? That's a pretty good goal. Uh, first, let's make the length be hex. Type two. What's that type? Let me be transfer type. Bulk. Seems right. He pointed out that punishing someone for not respecting others is meaningless. You can make someone simulate respect, but not all. Yeah, that's true. Right? And that's exactly what I mean. It's like, you, you, you know, and I, the, the, the despots of the past have learned this. Like, you know, our regime is at least... Our, our regime is, is because it's like oligarchical. If you have like, like a Stalin-esque regime, if you're like a, like a monarch... Uh, a monarchy, you can end up with somebody just, you know, put that guy in the gulag because, you know, I personally don't like him. Um, in an oligarchical regime, that's that's a lot uh, less likely. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, go ahead. Uh, yeah, put me in jail for, uh, oh, well, we disrespected, whatever, whatever, whatever. Yeah, you'd have to, like, find something else on me. And I don't really do much sketchy stuff. I and mean, this is why I don't do sketchy stuff. It's like, you know... I pay my taxes, boys. Pay your taxes. It's worth it. Serious advice? Pay your taxes, right? Like people are like, well, but do I ever do this? And I'm going to do it. No, pay your fucking taxes, man. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Don't give the regime that over you. Taxation is theft. Taxation is theft. Yeah, it might be theft. And when you have, you know, nuclear weapons and F-15s or whatever, then, you know, you can talk about that. But otherwise, you know, shut the fuck up. Pay your taxes. That's right. But what you don't have to do is you don't have to say, oh, I am a proud, patriotic person paying my taxes, right? You just got to be like, yes, they're thugs and they're stealing my money. But like, you know, they have, you know, bigger guns than me. And like, okay, pay your taxes, right? That's why I always pay my taxes. I always tell my accountants, I'm like, look, man, pay them more than they want. Like, I don't care. The money's fake. They want their fake shit coin back. They can have their fake shit coin back. Like, give it to them, man. Either. They care a lot about their fake shit coin. Okay. Okay. Here's my theory about what's happening. This is just part of a program, and until we understand the program... We're not going to get anywhere. How are these all 81s? Oh, I think the model loaded and did boilerplate. That doesn't actually do anything. It's 
only on this first, this is the one that copies the program. Can you buy fake shitcoin on Coinbase? Well, they have wrappers for it. USDT, uh, USDC, uh, you know, there's a lot of wrappers for that shitcoin. It's popular shitcoin, man. Popular shitcoin. It's OG, to be fair. This shitcoin's been around for a long time. Um, so it has like, you know, shitcoin legacy. Maybe that's the program. It's like some warm up program. Oh well. Be a Chad no coiner. That's right. I'm a no coiner. Hmm. I've drank like three sips of this. It's kind of disgusting. Tastes like battery acid. I've never drank battery acid, so I'm not sure that's true, but maybe this is the program that's getting transferred. Does that look like a program to you? I don't know what this is. Yeah, this looks like some like initial warm up thing. It's like transferring this little program. All right. I'm gonna guess that that's the program. Okay, should we save that transfer and then analyze it? Yes, that's exactly what we should do. Uh, if printer.link equals this, that's right. No, and like, you know, the other thing to be, you know, make really sure to any regime that might try to oppress you is like, I'm not gonna give in to your shit, man. I would rather die than give in to your shit. And like, and you know, the regime's gonna judge whether you they believe you about that or not. Um, and, you know, if, if the uh, regime doesn't believe you, then yeah, they'll, you know, they'll make an example out of you. But if the regime really does believe you, then like the, a lot of their leverage is gone and they're not gonna come after you because if they did come after you and you did that kind of shit, people would lose respect for the regime, right? The regime operates because of respect. I don't know, there actually probably are some really fucked up things the regime could do to you. And like, yeah, maybe. But you, you just kind of got to have a resolve, like you're willing to die and then, meh. Does it matter if the regime loses respect for you if you're already dead? What do you mean? You gotta, you gotta think about freedom for the future. You gotta think about freedom for the future. You know like people used to like die in wars? And they died in like stupid ways, man. Die a martyr? Of course I'd die a martyr. Not because like I wouldn't like go out and seek martyrdom, but like if that ends up being your lot in life, it's a whole lot better than like, you know, <laughs> working a job your whole life, retiring and playing golf, right? Do we have any chips? To go with my, oh, oh, yo, we got chips and an avocado? No way, we rich boys, we rich, that sounds nice. That sounds nice, capital N. Oh, avocado, you know what else this needs? A little bit of salt, maybe a little lime. Oh, no, now we're getting too fancy. Let's just settle for salt. And if you eat it with the lime, you'll just be upset next time if you don't have a lime. Some salt, some cabo chips, avocado. How many viewers we got? You guys want to see me dive into this binary and we'll take a look at how these programs work? I could really use a little lime. I 
Um cara. Maybe we can find some documentation on what these DMA transfers are. DMA chunk. All right, we'll get a little line. We'll get a little line. We have two things we could do right now. One, we could start reverse engineering the program. Or two, we can start figuring out how to mimic this all in Python. It's the Coral USB accelerator. Even you guys can find it. So it seems like the way this thing works. What's type three? Interrupt? Wait, what? Okay. Timmy Chango, what am I going to say to you? What am I going to say to you? Can, can you figure it out what I'm going to say to you? When you're optimizing your diet to live longer? God. I'm not going to ban him. I just don't get why people ask questions like that. Like, what do you think I'm going to say? Do you watch this stream? I don't, know if, I don't know if these people are trolling me or they're serious. I'm going to show you guys a website. Everyone on Team Blind. Hmm. Blind is LinkedIn. Fragile male ego and female leadership. TLDR, I've reached a seniority level that requires soft skills of effectively communicating with senior leadership, specifically male who may feel offended, threatened by my very technical and direct approach, but I'm bad at it. How do I make them take me seriously without hurting their egos so they like me enough to be on my side? What does PIP stand for? Now, I'm sure they're not talking about the Python packaging system. They're talking about the performance improvement plan. When you suck ass at your job, but nobody comes up to you and says you suck ass at your job, they say, mm, mm, I'm going to move my staple. I'm going to put you on a performance improvement plan. Mm, mm, mm. Tesla. The biggest fraud of our times. Everyone using LiDAR is dumb. Tesla has cracked full self-driving. In poker, there's a saying, if you don't know who the sucker is at the table, then it's you. While I agree that Musk is a charlatan, I don't really know what you see. It is interesting that they hate on Elon Musk. Right? It's, it's interesting. Our banana's coming back. Well, this is good. This is related to the stream. I am not a current employee of Amazon, but hearing from my friends that there are no longer bananas, 
As people preparing to go back to the office, do they plan to bring bananas back too? <laughs> Blind sucks. I don't want to see posts about Indian workplace from a person who works at Liberty Mutual Insurance. Title says it all. I keep seeing these posts about Indian job market for which I have no interest. Is there a way to stick to the workplace content only for the US? I have nothing against their posts. It just naturally doesn't interest me. By the way, my TC, which is my total compensation is 200. And I would assume they mean thousand because if they meant $200, they wouldn't have a computer. And if they meant 200 million, they wouldn't be posting on Team Blind. <laughs> TC GTFO. By the way, did you vote for Trump as well? <laughs> I am Indian and I second this. <laughs> Google just offered me 30k. I think we have to open an incognito window so we can not bypass the. That was my reaction. Is that an offer for a janitor? It pays based on cost of labor. Exactly what VMware says. This has to be the dumbest post of the day. You are in Poland. Compare your salary to others earning locally. Don't be so blindsided by blind that you would expect Google to pay 300K USD for an L3 position in Poland. By the way, you always have leverage if you are a rock star at Google. This is LinkedIn if these people were honest. You know, wait, guys, can we post the survey on Team Blind? Are you a part of the problem? <laughs> hmm. After a grueling 60 day grind of lead code. Mm. Yo, please post about comma on Team Blind. Please, please, like, talk about how, like. Mm. My boss at Comma sat in the corner all day and threw lines at the intern. Is this acceptable behavior? TC. $60,000. Gotta support the blind people in Bosnia, ma'am. You gotta think about that. That's a demographic. That's a demographic that has not been fully exploited yet. There are blind people in Bosnia who right now are looking at a screen with Google ads on it, but they can't see them. What are we doing for these people? We have to do something. Wow. The great, the great holy allegiance. <laughs> mm. You know, you know what should really be the most upset about all this shit? Like, I was never big into like social justice before. Uh, I was never big into social justice, right? But like, I remember kids in high school who like were in like Amnesty International. And they were like legit into this stuff. They were like legit into like, you know, 
trying to like 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 root out shitty situations in the world, trying to like you know combat actual racism and like really genu genuinely like great things. You, you do understand, guys, that you know we, we, you all understand this. Who am I even talking to? But like you know when 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 the NFL and NASCAR are waving the pride flag, you didn't win, right? You didn't you didn't win. This is not a victory for you, right? It's not going to be a victory for me when, like, you know, you lost, man. You lost. And, and, it, and it sucks, right? And, like, it's really got to suck for these people. You know, I'm sorry. I am I'm genuinely sorry to people who care about, like, actual social justice. Just please, NFL. Please, NFL. Tell me more about gay pride. Yes. <laughs> oh yeah, well that meme always goes around on Twitter. It's like, well, you know, hey, hey, we're all for gay pride and everything, but like, we might offend those demographics. So, um, you know, maybe not quite so. Right, like it's just, it's, it's just an example, you know, of the system systematizing. And like, what can't they systematize? Um, I'll bring up seeing like a state again. It's like, it's just, it just demotivates me to do anything. It demotivates me to do anything when like, like until I have a way to combat them structurally, like, you're never going to change anything as long as these people continue to, like, you know, dominate. It's fascinating to install dictators, but we're intersectional. Exactly. Yeah, I, I could see. You don't want to put that, like, over the CIA, like, um... Why are you guys all posting this shit? What is all this shit, man? Is this a meme? Wait, wait, wait. Did you guys find me on Team Blind? No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, this post is no longer available. Oh, maybe it's... Just... Nope. What? Oh, ah, yes, yes. From Leet Goat. <clears throat> this is going to sound corny, but I want to be the Michael Jordan of the tech industry. I want to be as strong as possible technically, and also from a business standpoint, since one of my goals is starting my own company, have a little yet less than one Yoey. For reference, somebody I look up to is George Hotz. Don't care about Fang or TC. TC. Just want to be the best and work with the best on hard problems with autonomy. Right now, I'm pretty much a noob, so it'll be an uphill battle, but one I'm willing to fight. For people who've been down a similar path, what do you recommend? Do you simply code a lot on the side after work to improve skills constantly? Have a mentor for fee- Here's an interesting thought. You want to be like Michael Jordan or like me. Do you think they ever posted? Do you think you're going to find a post somewhere? And you know what? You work in Amazon. So it's not like you're like, you know, if you were like, like eight years old and saying this kind of shit. Okay. You know what? You're eight. But you, you're probably out of college. You're probably 23. Do you think 23-year-old Michael Jordan was like, this is going to sound corny, but I want to be like the Tiger Woods of basketball. I understand the anachronism. Right? Nobody who ever went out looking for their passion found it.
is God, am I a self-help book? I'm a fucking self-help book, you know? You guys, I say this stuff, and then you feel like, oh, I feel empowered, oh, I feel like, and then you go back to your shitty job, 31% of you, that's the problem. Oh. Oh. Guys, I wanna play basketball, what's the best bet to learn it? Should I just grind? Don't, don't make me, don't make me load up how to not fail at life quit bitching about the bitches edition. Mm. What, what is their advice? Okay, wait, these actually aren't that bad. I mean, they're not the upvoted ones. The upvoted ones are totally useless, but stop being passive. When you see a problem, tell people and try to fix it. Don't tell people. When you see a problem, just try to fix it. When people are mediocre, say so. Understand. When systems are flawed, fix them. The stance of, it's not my place. And avoiding pushing others is the exact reason you will never become exceptional. Actual startup founders learn this earlier, and it's a little harder to learn at big corps. I do think there's a difference between pushing normal coworkers and by pushing the people you are doing a startup with. While hiring the initial people of a startup, a high level of self-motivation and initiative is needed from the prospective employees. Meaning, this is why no startups are any good anymore. Because it's, you know, there's a good 4chan world for, word for this, you know? Mm. Oh, need it from the perspective of employers, meaning there should be hired people who don't need to push, who are self-motivated. Okay, I have a question. Are you self-motivated? Do, do, do you take initiative? Are you willing to do what it takes? If you answer yes to all three, join my startup. We are motivated, we take initiative, and we do what it takes. That's what we need, man. You know what's wrong with everybody else in the world? They're, they don't take initiative, and they don't do what it takes, man. If only everybody just tried, you know? If only everybody just, like, if all those people out there. Here's, here's an interesting thought experiment that I always like um, whenever I see bullshit. And it's like, okay, whenever, like, imagine a politician saying, I care about the children, right? If, a, if the opposite of a statement says nothing, the statement also says nothing. Right? Could you imagine a politician who said, you know, you know, frankly, I don't really care about the children that much. They're not that all important to us. Right? Like, then you haven't said anything. That's right. Mm. There is no startup playbook. Of course not. Of course not. And there never can be. Um, another thing, too is uh, people in the hacking world think that like I should just you know grind out binary exploitation and you can't do that anymore because like if you're trying to copy someone else's the thing about everyone who was ever great is they didn't start out by copying somebody else's path they may have borrowed some things from people along the way, and there's some, you know, universal truths to what greatness is, but they didn't say, I want to be like, you know? <laughs> you want to date with George? Yeah. Oh, great. Oh, man. Oh, 10 steps to disrupt my industry. Do you think you are down Oh, I can't even figure out the... <coughs> Jill, it's the man. I think he's eventually going to... Oh, I think he's mellowed out significantly as he gets older. I think he understands very well there's any people out there who are more knowledgeable as Gilles, huh? The guy's too arrogant to achieve real success. I don't know. I think it's funny. Maybe he's too arrogant. He's that mythical 10x engineer. Most talented guys in... What the fuck is SFBA? Oh, San Francisco Baseball Academy. Sweet. I didn't know I could play baseball. <laughs> it's like reading comments, but worse. Ever had that temptation to imitate another? I mean, there's... No, nah, man. I just steal, every, steal everything that's good, man. I just steal, you know? I don't look like a good team player. That's fair criticism, man. That's fair criticism, you know? I'm sorry. I'm not going to work up through your L3, L4, L5 bullshit. 
Mm. Yo, can I throw a curveball, man? No, I didn't try GitHub. Uh, yo, 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 yo. Let's Google. Am I good at baseball? I don't know. Question mark. Are you a good baseball player? Oh, let's see. Let's start out one. Which of these positions play on the infield? All the above. Who plays in the outfield? I don't think outfielders do because I've never heard of that one. But I'm going to go with all of the above. Okay. So you're playing second base and the ball is hit to you while there's a man on second. Where do you throw? Hmm. Well, the problem with throwing to third base is I'm not going to get any outs. Because the guy's just going to chill on second. Unless the question is, is there a man on first? I'm gonna not throw it anywhere and just stare at it. <laughs> no, I think it's I think it's uh God, do I wanna let the guy get the run so I don't get somebody on third base? That's probably worth it. Yeah. Uh, bases loaded, one out, you're in center. Balls hit to you. Oh, I don't know who the cutoff man is. <laughs> this is a great quiz. <laughs> Bases loaded. I think I throw it a second and we're gonna try for a double play here. You know what I mean? Because the first base runner has to advance. We get it a second, we step on second base and then we throw it over to first base and then we got three outs and no one even gets any runs, right? You're standing up at the plate and the doofus umpire calls a strike. <laughs> That's a total ball. What do you do? Notice where he likes strikes and balls and... No, wait, I'm not the pitcher. I'm gonna say, take it like a man. I'm gonna say none of the above because I'm gonna complain about it to, to the other broski. Shit, how many Major League Baseball teams are there? Aren't there 64? None of the above. What was the record for the most home runs in a single season? My boy Barry Bonds on steroids. Now, Mark McGuire was close. When you hit a baseball, how far does it go? Um, I'm going to say everything but four and five. I bet you it's rigged. That's right. Just like baseball. <laughs> this is a great quiz. I want to marry a baseball. Oh, I'm great at baseball. <laughs> you are a below average baseball player. <laughs> I love the internet, boys. I love the internet. Alright, let's try to talk to the Google Coral in Python. Mm -hmm. Fix a few things. Let's view the answers. Let's see what I got wrong. All the above. All the above. Alright, cool. Oh, I was supposed to go to first base for the easy out. I don't even know who the cutoff man is. Who's the cutoff man? Man, I really am not good at baseball. We gotta study. Oh. I see. It's like going through two routers instead of one router. Those who have short terms. It's really only that many? I thought it was 64. Damn! 
Damn, I don't know shit about baseball. <laughs> when will I die? That's a good question. Enter my age, 31. What is my height? Five foot, 10 inches, 70 inches. Enter my weight, 170 pounds. No, 160, I'm 168 pounds. I've been losing weight, that's right. What best describes my eating habits? Mm, go with that. How much do I smoke? Mm, never smoke, no nearby smokers. Uh, I'm gonna say that, but it's less than that. How many alcoholic drinks do you have for drinking? Do you usually just one drink? How much sleep do I get between six and nine hours? Um, I have a high paying job. I mean, not really, but I'm gonna go with that. What best describes my day to day attitude? I'm gonna say determined, competitive, aggressive. What best describes my habit with doctors? Uh, fuck doctors. Uh, if you count pacing, I'll go with that. Dental hygiene, yeah, that sounds right. Um, I'd say rarely. Nah, nah. Zero. How healthy do I feel in the average day? Eight. 83, sweet, yo, holy shit. I'm living for, I've lived 30% of my life already. That's hard, man, that's, that's the real truth. Damn, I'm gonna live to be 83. That's pretty good, man. And that means I'm probably gonna live forever because the singularity's happening in uh, 2038. Dude, I really am gonna live forever. Holy shit. Yo. <laughs> Which Jersey Shore girl would you date? Man. Old J-Wow, not new J-Wow. Sammy and bitch. Snooki would annoy me. Who's the third? Who's the fourth one? Angelina. Yeah, J-Wow seems alright. Old J-Wow though, not new J-Wow. <clears throat> I have 52 years left to live. Wow. Wow. Why do they tell me I've lived 30% of my life already? Why don't they tell me I still have 63% of my life left to live? That's pretty good. That's like a D. Do you deserve your high school diploma? Wow. Are we just doing quizzes? Wow, these quizzes are so addictive. What is my age? 31 to 40. What is your gender? Why don't they have an other? What is the area of a right triangle with a three? That's six. All right, three times four is 12 divided by two is uh, six. How many digits are there in pi? Infinite. What's 10% of 25? 2.5. The Soviet Union was a U.S. enemy in World War II. No, that is not true. We were allies. The Magna Carta was written in which country? God, I don't know. Sounds Italian, but that also could be a decoy. Uh, we'll go with it. No, it could also be some British shit. I don't know. I don't know that one. The year 1606 is in which century? Okay, so if the 19th century was the 20th century... 1900s was the 20th century. Then the 16, 1900s was the 20th century, then that would be the 17th century, right? So the 18th century was, was 1700, and the 17th century was, was 1600, okay. Um, immaculate conception refers, of course, to Jesus. Uh, well, Jesus was the one conceived. Yes, that's true. Um, the world's largest three religions are uh, Islam, Hinduism, and Christianity. I think that's right. Um, Christianity's up there. I don't know about Taoism. I think Islam makes it. Columbus's ships arrived in North America in 1492. That sounds right. What is Cubism? It's some art bullshit. Yeah... 
I don't know, probably the modernist art movement. Portugal's in Europe. Uh, Iran is an Arabic country. I think so, yeah. Um, it is annoying in its redundancy, so that's not an it is. Uh, David was made by, uh, I believe it was Michelangelo, though it could have also been Da Vinci. Um, choose the sentence that has a dangling modifier. Uh, I would say this. I don't really know what a dangling modifier is. I, I feel just the urge to Google. Um, just the following Shakespeare says, this is a comedy, I believe. Why is earth, why is it warmer in summer? Uh, the tilt. Uh, because the sun has tilted closer to the earth and rises more frequently. Um, it can't be because it's physically closer to the sun because summer and winter are different. I mean. Yeah, no, it's the tilt. Uh, Darwin's theory of natural selection uh, posits that organisms with favor, that's always true. Yes. Um, plants, algae, and bacteria use the process of chemotherapy. <laughs> um, all right, let's see how I do. What? what I get wrong? <laughs> what did I get wrong? <laughs> Tilted is right. Iran's not an Arabic country. The Magna Carta was England. Iran's not an Arabic country? <laughs> All right, we're done with this. We're done with this. We're done with quizzes. We're done with quizzes, man. Don't trivial bullshit. You know, next thing we're going to know is going to be bar trivia. Dangling modifier was wrong as well. Exposed. <laughs> Twelve nine. I mean, it almost looks like I spelled it wrong. <laughs> Do an IQ test. It's too hard. What's my IQ now? definition of Arabic is. I don't like these questions. What do you do in baseball when the umpire Watch it. Is this a short IQ test or is it a long IQ test? That's too many questions. I'm in America. I'm gonna go with D. <laughs> All right, you all want me to do Ravens? One circle, so I'm gonna do the damn circle. All right, well, this is probably H. Well, it's not actually H, it was D. Um, all right, they're moving through each other, maybe? No, this one seems to overlap this one, so the, it's gonna be two triangles, but this one's on top. Well, I don't really like that, because where's that dot there? I guess it's just C. Mm. 
Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it defines the way it expands, so I would guess it's... I, I hate these things. And they're, like, decent, and they, like, tell you something, but... Mm, all right, so that's H. Can I go back through these when I'm done? All right, I was going to have a red, and then which red? It seems to rotate one each time there. So it's going to rotate one each time there. It's going to be E. Oh, no, it's F because I like the pretty flower. You can like check like all the diagonals and see if you get it right on all the diagonals. Okay, yeah, because then each of those is like that's right, it's E. Um, no, if it's timed too. Oh, this is stressful, boys. All right, so this is one of those like add subtract -y kind of thing. So we're getting rid of that line and we're adding two of those lines. Do you think we yeah, keep that triangle and get rid of that middle line? Okay. Um. Do we have 30 minutes to do this? All right, D. Yeah, we put the triangle in the circle. We're gonna put the square in the triangle. No, you put the square in the triangle. Put the square in the triangle. Put the square in the triangle. Okay. This one moves down, but not really down. Actually, can I just find which square doesn't already have one? Is that gonna work? Those three are filled in on that side. Those two and that one are filled in. Those, two, which one's not filled in yet? It's the middle, right? Well, it's not an option. Come back to that one. All right, circle minus square goes minus square minus that thing, so it's just gonna be a dot. That also makes sense along that axis. It does, because we're merging them there. Okay, yeah, okay, so this is just falling. Is it falling with wraparound? See, oh my God, it's so stupid, like nobody knows. Like, I would accept it's probably B, it's like moving down one, but does it wrap around? Like, I don't know. I guess there's none with one, so B is the obvious answer. All right, we got more of these doohickeys. So it's going to be a red doohickey. Um, those are these ones. Which red doohickey do we not have? None of them. So this one looks like that. This one looks like th This one looks like that. This one looks like that. So it's gonna be something that looks like that. So it's either A, C, or H. And now we just have to figure out what the orientation of it is. Um, well, if that's that orientation, okay, so that one points up. So that's gonna point up there. So let's see. Um, Those things are like moving in. So we're gonna have like arcs which intersect each other. Mm. Probably A. sure about that one. Oh, but you're supposed to think about this for a really long time. <sighs> All right. Groundy thing. So it's going to be a this doohickey uh, with a red square around it. Probably that.
We're filling in the line along there. We're filling in the line along there. So we just need to fill in the line. So it's going to be like a bucket thingy with half a line like that. Um, all right, so it's probably this one. Could also be that one. Um, I'm gonna guess it's this one, but it could also be H. They're all inside the shape on that line. Go with C. Okay. Uh, knob. Let's go back to this one. Okay, it's falling down up there. Over here, it's moving. Okay, it moves up there. That doesn't make sense. Uh, maybe it's like some kind of rotation thing. This is that one flipped over. This is that one flipped over. No, it's not that one flipped over. I don't know. Let's get that one too. Okay, lines. The lines are likely rotating lines. So yeah, they're rotating that way. Mm, I don't know. It's get hard. You gotta think about it for a long time. Apparently I have 30 minutes. Is this really what you guys want me to do with the rest of the stream? Okay, this is again, it's not exactly subtraction. No, it is, it's some kind of intersection thing again. Probably get a line there, maybe get rid of that line. So it's like a triangle with a line, like D. Um, this one, but not with that. What else? What do we only have three of? We have a bunch of dots. We have three dots. We need a circle with a propeller. Yeah, it's probably that. Because we only have two circles and two propellers. Uh, Might not be that. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> uh, we put that in the little box, maybe. That goes in the inside circle. Okay, so this, so like fill it in the inside and that fills that in the inside. So this, we're just gonna, it's just E, I think. Okay, because if I fill the inside of the diamond with that thing, that seems right. Uh, okay, uh, those are bending or moving. Okay, so the, to go from this one to this one, we bend these and then we move them. So it's gonna look like D. Bend, move. Okay, let's confirm that here. Bend, move, yeah, it's D. Okay, um, we got some grounds. Uh, this one go like that. Rotate. Rotate that one, rotate that one. This one, we rotate that one, so we're gonna get a square, like A. So we rotate that one, and then we rotate that one, okay. Uh, squiggle, infinity, squiggle. Infinity, squiggle, squiggle. Okay, so this is probably some like 
weird subtraction kind of thing. I don't know. Um, one plus one is two, one minus three is minus two, two minus two is just a circle. I think that's right. Um, this one, it's like some operation that it's doing. We'll come back, we'll come back. Okay. Rotate it and swap the two colors. This one I can probably do with like frequency analysis. So it's gonna need a large blue. So those are the ones with large blue. Um, it's gonna need a uh, we only have two small greens. What so is a large blue and a small green? Okay, so it's A or C. Great. Large blue and a small green. So it's either A or C. The question is then which way is it rotated? Um, the, no, they, they're not. This one always has the same, she, no, it's not true. It's either A or C. Or maybe even not. I don't know. These get fancy. Okay, wow. All right, guys, I got 26 minutes. Don't worry, we got plenty of time. Um. <laughs> All right. Let's start thinking more about these ones. Mm, that's like some like, okay. So the squiggle squigglifies it and that thing rotates it. So we're gonna want a small squigglified and it's gonna be rotated 45 degrees that way. So I think it's F. Those squiggles do match. Small squiggle, that means rotate. That means squigglify. So it's gonna be F. It follows with laws of multiple choice too. It's not B because we're not rotating. I mean, I guess, uh, C, is it B? I don't know. You know what the fucking thing is rotated like? I'm gonna go with F and say it's 45 degrees that way. But this one, of course, you can't really tell. Okay. Um, back to rotating lineies. I think all the lines are rotating. So yeah, this one rotates here, this one rotates here, this one rotates here, and that one rotates there, okay. I don't know what happens when you come to the end in rotation. Does it snap around? So I'm gonna expect a line in the, I, I think it's D, and I think that it's gonna flip all the way. We, we can try, we can try, let's see what happens. So we're rotating down that way, around here, yeah, so that just rotates there, but where's, no, they don't have the line that I want. There's nothing with a line on the, oh, no, I guess there is. Maybe it rotates around the, mm, I see a good argument for D there. Come back to that one. Okay. Uh... What are these? Are these like, um, right away what I think of is like a gate. It's like a AND gate or a NAND gate or something. Does the position of the hole matter? The position of the hole does seem to rotate around that way. So 
I'm gonna guess that this one has a whole position there. Now is it C or is it F? Uh, my instinct says go with F because that's just the repeated pattern. It's like some like sunlight thing. My instinct says go with F here. I'll try it. Um, all right, we're back to this like moving square kind of shit. Is it a moving square? That makes that, that, and that. Makes that, and that, and that make. Nothing seems obvious to me there. Rotating lines, okay, squiggles. Ah. Uh, that squiggle, which is this part of the infinity sign, gets you that. That squiggle, which is that. Okay, it feels like this is just some like rotated subtraction thing. Uh. <laughs> oh, it's the axis to mirror about maybe. So if we mirror that one about this line, we get that. If we mirror that one about this line, we get that. If we mirror this one about this line, uh, we're gonna get a blue one here and a red one there. Is that right? You see, like, that's like a fair, this is, this is, oh. I know, I know, I know. Like, they're supposed to be, you know, good and generic about that, but that is like a fair interpretation, right? Like that's a line and you mirror it across that line. So I'm mirroring across that line whoosh, and you get C, right? It's pretty coherent. Um, this one's killing me. This one's killing me. The obvious answer is the center. How come some of them have multiple dots? The last thing I would think is that it has multiple dots. So these are like binary logic kind of things. Uh, sliding. Sometimes they're along this axis. Guys, I'm not looking at chat. I saw one of you fucks said clockwise rotation F. Like, what do you mean clockwise rotation? Oh, it's just going around like that. Oh, okay. I see what you mean. Fine. No more, I'm minimizing chat. I'm minimizing chat. Yeah, okay, so it's like slides around. All right, slide around the thing, slide around the thing. All right, slide around the thing. All right, F. Yeah, that one was easy. All right. Um, Yeah, I got it. I should have seen that faster. Uh, we established that this one was either A or C, likely. Um, I feel stupid for missing clockwise rotation now. Yeah, that one's pretty obvious. Trying, trying, trying. You got, you got to think. You know. Okay. All right. Multicolor. Wait. 
That's just black? That one's just black? Okay, so this one is, that moved over there, and then those rows transposed. How do you get from that to that? I don't know. I'm sure chat, I know these get harder. I'm sure chat has an obvious answer for this one. Some like, you know, connect the new dots. Game of life kind of thing. Sure looks like rotation. In like some abstract sense, it's like, you rotate around the solid black dots. Yeah, so those get rotated there. That gets rotated there, that gets rotated there. If you rotate these around the solid black dots, yeah. So we're left back with the problem of what happens when you rotate this one. I do see an argument to be made for just a line. I don't know how you get these dots alone. I think it's D. Like it's like you rotate there and like those ones flip around. We'll go with D. All right, we're back to infinity sign squiggles. Um, and just. It makes you want there to be another infinity sign. But by the time you get to these end ones, it's usually not that easy. Usually frequency analysis stuff doesn't work. Um, I don't feel great about any of them. It's like that's not a rotation. Back to this one with the bars. I did, I did frequency analysis stuff on it. There's got to be a more, maybe it's like addition of the different bars with rollover. Yeah, that seems right. Okay, it is a dish. No, that one doesn't work. Um, does the orientation of the bars matter? Uh, some like intersection kind of thing. I'm too hung up. I feel like too many of them have been intersection kind of things. Uh, should we look at chat? Are you guys, you guys doing spoilers over there in chat? Let's 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 get let's get through and then and then we'll consider looking at chat a little bit and seeing what chat has to say. Um. Gosh. Thirty-three is probably the easiest. Ah. Uh, B seems the most right. All right, because okay. 
This one rotated 45. Gives you that. This one. Mm. I don't know about that. I like B though. Do we like B? Is B good? Chat, do we like B? Would B a good answer for this one? Uh, yeah, all right, all right, all right. Oh, what, did I change this one? No, this one's just subtraction, we know this. Um, all right, all right, do we know about, about these? <laughs> Do we know about these? <laughs> I'm, com I'm, com I'm confident I would have got the cloud guy's irritation. These, these, these last four, I don't know. Okay. Um, so it does seem like, okay, one pattern that seems to be followed is the big one changes colors, which would mean the big one has to be blue, which also corresponds with what I found here. Um, the small one does not change color. The small one, no. Is it some mathematical operation? Yeah, these are hard. All right, good. I'm, I'm glad nobody else sees the answer. <laughs> All right, let's see. It's gotta be, it's gotta be A or C. Three of each type, but three of each type works for both of those. No, I don't know. We'll guess A or C. We'll guess A. I guess I, maybe we'll come back to that one. All right, so what's going on here? Right, I'm, I'm, min I'm minimizing chat again. I'm minimizing chat again. Um, what do we got? Oh. <laughs> Is there like some like replacement rule? Some like way these things migrate? Okay, whenever I see a red, okay. Whenever I see a red, I always see a new gray appear next to it. That's a true pattern, all right? But like what's even next to that? I already have a gray there. And whenever I see a blue,
nothing happened because blues are useless. Blues can show up. It is it's some it's some game of life kind of dynamic. Gotta be. Ugh, colors and then this shapes. Is anyone in chat confident about an answer to any of these? <laughs> You're confident about an answer. You guys are saying all different shit. If all Twitch can't do it, I mean, B is the most beautiful. I do think, I do think B is the most beautiful. I don't really have a reason for suspecting B, aside from the fact that it's the most beautiful. But it would just be very satisfying if it was B, and I feel like the people would want that. <sighs> okay. You can't just put a black square in the middle. That should be illegal. All right, is this some like They always have the same colors next to each other, which is kind of nice. They can rotate. So this one to this one is a, yeah, I just like, I, I don't understand this and I don't think that's fair. You can't, you can't just put a random black one in the middle, right? Like, I guess it gives you an idea that, okay, maybe the pattern is some, like, big thing that continues all the way around. Which could kind of be nice. Okay. Mm, those ones. It's not even like it, like, slides over one or anything. What symmetries are preserved? I don't think it like flips this one around. All right, I mean, okay, we're gonna go with one that probably has this row. It's definitely not that. Okay, well, they all have that row. They all have that row at the bottom except for E, which is definitely not E. Um, I'm going to put this row in the middle. So this one doesn't even have that row. Uh, so it's definitely not E, and it's definitely not G, because G doesn't have that row, or B for that matter. That row is probably going to stay, so it's not any of those. Um, this one has the row. These all have that row in the right place, right? All these and then the top ones all have the row in the right place too. Okay. So it's it's not E, F, or G. Um, they seem to rotate every single time. So I'm going to guess that the black one is then down here, which leaves us with A, B, and H. Do those ones rotate every single time? They do as well. So that would put the red one in the middle over here. And that leaves us only with A. We can confirm. Yeah, I think it is A. Put the red one over there. Because it always moves. Yeah, good enough. We'll guess A. Mm. 
You don't like A? Why do you think it's C? Who said C? It's not C. It's, why is it C? 100% C. That's right. Um, you know, what was it when, like, the world chess champion, it was like the Gary Kasparov versus the world? Who ended up winning? Okay. Last problem. If they make me register for something, we're never going to find out the answer. <laughs> um, Is there any we can just rule out? You get this, it's like like Kolmogorov complexity. What's the shortest Kolmogorov complexity? It's compression, right? Intelligence is compression, boys. Uh... Like I can't find like, like a slide or a... Maybe they each shape moves in some unique way. No, I don't know about that. Do the shapes matter? Maybe the shapes don't matter. I wish I knew which one was which. I wish they each had a number on them. You know? All right. You guys heard of the laws of multiple choice? A lot of them seem to have three triangles. Uh, F and C are kind of mirror images of each other, so it's probably one of those. Um, <laughs> now we got this one wrong. I really have no idea. Uh, there's three with three triangles. A bunch with that square thing. You guys know. All right, let's go. Let's go with F. Have we done an F in a while? No, I F slut. The fuck? I don't even know how I did. Yeah. Oh, you're not allowed to publish the solutions online. Oh shit. 140, all right, that's pretty good, man. How many did I get right? I'm sorry for publishing the Dutch online. All right. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, 140, bro, I'm smart. I knew my DNA said I was smart. How many did I get wrong? <laughs> uh, no, a lot of the problem with these things is like, you know, what did I get? I probably I probably got two wrong, right? And like it's it's, it's randomness at a certain point. <laughs> By my QL from Twitch chat. Yeah, I don't know how I didn't see the clockwise shit. That one was obvious. You guys didn't help with anything else. <laughs> I would have gotten a clock my shit probably eventually, maybe. <laughs> Rich IQ is 140. Well, how am I gonna get right? Um. All right, 
next one's new app. If you have above a 120 IQ, I think like life outcomes there don't really matter. Um, this is interesting. Yeah. So, um, you know, major in physics. Mm. Finance says like he was like one twenty or some shit. Have one forty. Me and my twitchies together have a one forty IQ. <laughs> all right, all right. Pi Pi Lib USB. It's not even a real IQ test, bro. Bro, 140. Yo, you got 140? I got 140, bro. I think that makes it worth eating the other out of time. How do we go from baseball to actually just spending 30 minutes on an IQ test? I also think those last questions are kind of like ridiculous. Like they're not fair, you know? How are you supposed to, how are you supposed to like intuit all that stuff with so little information? Hey, how could deep, <laughs> what does deep learning do? People have tried this, right? Deep learning, maybe it's progressive. There aren't enough of them now. <laughs> now practice for five days. Go grind leak code for five days. <laughs> I'm getting into Mensa, dude. I don't know. I don't want to hate on Mensa. I don't actually know that much about them. Mm, well, I want to go up. Surpasses human level performance. Oh. It doubles the accuracy of a random guessing. I put two simple ravens on the, uh, I put two simple ones of these on the uh, Twitchcock test.
All right, I'm getting tired. So, I'll push this to GitHub, and if anybody has a coral and they'd like to continue this work, we should be able to write a pretty simple Python driver. Um, where are these coming from? Who is this? It's just Raven's progressive matrices, man. You just gotta like see the patterns, you know? It's all the same shit. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it looks like we can just read from there. I'm curious what it actually reads. We'd have to intercept the callback if we wanted to do that. Dev dot read from endpoint two, comma, the length is ten. And put out, put error. Now we're going to like set that configuration, claim endpoint or something. Claim, claim interface, yes. No attribute claim interface. Operation timed out. All right, let's put back the control one point interceptor. I'm going to add this to uh, build SH. Yo, yo, no sport ball chat. No sport ball. Go away with sport ball. These things are like setting things, aren't they? Sports ball out. Do you ever see a dog get like 
kicked out of a house for peeing on the floor. It's like that. Yo, what's that Game of Thrones quote that I cut out my tongue? Cut out my tongue, Game of Thrones. You know, you think it's like some like 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 ancient quote from history, but it's actually Game of Thrones. When you tear out a man's tongue, you are not proving him a liar. You're only telling the world that you fear what he might say. I like that quote. Dev read. These things are like, no, this is like poking all this stuff on the, on the corals, isn't it? That's a descriptor read. But the rest of this stuff is like programming. Let's see if we can look up what these things are in the driver. Guys, you know what would make this stream so much better? If we could listen to music. You know? Oh, there we go. Look, it's that. Yeah, that's a Rambist Control 1. W index four. Yeah, mesh bus run control. So this is where it sets up all these registers. Some are probably important, some are probably not important. <coughs> and then it considers the device open. I should actually not say open device, I should say open device, because it happened in a past tense. You can, but you have to have it in a separate OBS stream so it doesn't show in your VODs. Oh, I don't even know about that. That sounds too hard, man. Copyright free music, really copyright free. I know I did this once before and it wasn't copyright free. Oh, is this actually royalty free? Legal notice. Licensing. The black download project, as long as you credit. This looks too hard. Free music. No, nope, this is the one that's not really royalty free. I'm not getting scammed again. Ugh. By the way, lookmovie.ag, boys. I've, ever since I've discovered lookmovie.ag, you know what's nice about censorship? Like, there used to be one thing that was always censored. Oh, Twitch broadcast soundtrack. Wow, Twitch has something for this? I mean, I could always play my music. Oh, available for Windows 10. Oh, how nice is that? All right, who thinks we can figure out how to run it? Probably gave me an exe file. Oh, it's an exe file. We love exes. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Your requested URL has been blocked by the government communications of India. You know what is nice? Oh, DMCA safe to stream music. Ah, oh, nice. No. But I need, oh, this playlist is also available on other industrial sounds. That sounds. Oh yeah, now we're talking. Uh, 
default, which of these can I do without logging in? I have to pay for it. What's Deezer? Deezer's gonna let me just play it. Deezer's a whore. Oh, listening is limited to 30 second clips. MediaNet? You know what's really nice about pirate, about it? You know, it used to be that one thing was censored from the internet, right? Piracy. But now you start censoring like people who have like weird ideas about COVID. And what's great is these people are very passionate about their stupid fucking ideas. And they're gonna create alternative platforms. And some of these alternative platforms may allow piracy again. And we're gonna re-enter a golden era of piracy. These are these nuts. <laughs> these are these nuts. <laughs> All right, that's pretty good. Let's go. Sounds like some good hacking shit. Oh yeah, let's drink some Monster. Let's some 8-bit music, yeah! Oh, we're hyped, boys. We're hyped. Leap hacker shit. Remember when you could like things not ironically? Oh, closer to days.
Well, some of these are reeds and some of them are rights. Operation timed out. What's happening? I understand. C did the same thing, didn't it? What is this request? This is a standard issue request, is it not? this and then it crumbles it has Why am I still getting input out for there? I did all the bullshit. Alright, 83 type 2, which is bulk. I did all the setup. And you can look up each one of these register numbers if you care in this stupid file and you can find out. Oh, it's the scalar core run control. Great. I was enjoying this less until we found this great royalty free music.
This music better be royalty free, boys. That's really why they're gonna ban me, man. Copyright infringement. Promotion of piracy. Haven't you heard of quaternary copyright infringement? No, stop timing out. Stop fucking timing out. Wow, Robin Prinkler, thank you for gifting subs. Hola Beats. There's something like else I have to do, right? It's like set configuration, but a few more things. timeouts, which is different. Well, that actually might be okay. So I remember they're doing 6,000 for the timeout. Maybe it just takes time. Input out for that. No. Maybe 6,000 is seconds or something. No, that doesn't work. All right. Um... This? Yeah, alt setting. Good point. Let's use GitHub Copilot. To log in. I've been added to the wait list. Damn it, I should have done that a while ago. I'm on the wait list. We can't use GitHub Copilot. Is it VS Code extension? Just your shop. <laughs> nice no, chip tune, bro. Okay, what else am I forgetting to do? It's got to be something. I set all those things up. That all seems right. Just like. Just those reads, right? Can I send stuff to... Oh, maybe? That? No. Specs question. What am I doing wrong?
All right, boys. We're gonna we're gonna take a, a quick break. Just a quick break. Uh, what are we gonna do? We're gonna do for the break. You guys figure out what the during the break.
What up, boys? We're not back till 3.30. This is just an interlude. Whoa, did somebody say McDonald's? Did somebody say McDonald's? What's this text? Oh, that. Did somebody say McDonald's? Give me a flurry, bro. You want McDonald's? Give me a flurry. Want to give me a flurry? Oh, I'm Burger King. What do I want? Out? What do I want? Out? Uh, a Chick King, a Chai King, Chick King. I don't want one of those. I want McFlurry. Yeah, you got any McFlurries? I'm interested in a McFlurry. Did we figure out what's going on? Asser logger. Read the inner any that's not even right. It's trying to read from that one. Maybe that one. Right, we're not getting IORs anymore, we're getting timeouts, which is totally different. Take so long after this, and what is this? Um, is that a read? Reading some descriptor. And that's W index, right? That's W value. Okay, what is this? Oh, USB reset. Oh, it's sending a reset. I don't know, maybe this one's important. If I just put it in, will it work? Maybe. Maybe, let me try that. Both sides. No, I didn't fix shit. Oh, it's the other error. USB reset. Oh, don't I have to use the piss coral libs? No, I actually don't have to use the piss coral libs, bro. We already did it with Edge TPU, but now we're trying to do it with Python. the same except for this one which doesn't work 
pinpoint type two, length 10, timeout 6,000. Windex. Yo, W Windex and Windex are spelled the same way. <sighs> okay, I mean, this has got to be some bullshit with the device. You want to try to figure out what these things actually are? So we read it. So it's just a read and a write. Let's look up some of these things. I'm using VS Code, Microsoft. Come on, I'll be a great shill for GitHub Copilot. We'll see if it's good. Oh. Well, of course, it's setting the OMC D8. Oh. Missed error resp Archer mask. Narrow to wide run control. Wide to narrow run control. Mesh bus zero run control. Okay, it looks like we're turning those things on. Maybe. Let's really see that doing it. Or maybe we have to time dot sleep after the first one. I don't think that's right. We can try it, but. I think it's using any other kind of transfers. You sure want to claim the interface? Sure, there's nothing going into bulk transfer, right? Oh, it's actually possible those aren't returning and they're just queued up. Oh, I think that's what's happening. Okay. Um, this is a little tricky. Oh man, this is gonna be, oh, this is this is hardcore tricky. All right, are you guys ready to see some, you know, real shit? Let's go, let's go. We're gonna have to hook. We're gonna have to hook the callback. Oh, that sounds hard. I actually think those things are not succeeding. And this is just junk. And the first thing that's happening is actually that. 
Yeah. And this is downloading like the main firmware. Is that in the model? Do you see, you see what's happening? All right, we'll, we'll just try it briefly. Um, pointer callback equals, uh, we need a callback. We could just read the code. This this code's actually open source. I I, I keep guess I'm forgetting that. And I don't fall back. Yeah, look, it's lies, boys. It's lies. We're only getting callbacks on those. Whoa, now we're finally getting callbacks. It's probably like timing out or some shit. Yeah, oh, that's crazy. Yo, that's crazy, man. All right, let's figure out where this bullshit's coming from. Is this from the model? This here, from the model. Is it in model? Are you in the model? Yes. All right, so that was a waste of time. Is this shit in the model? I feel like it's not. Who else hates Python 3? Oh, it's in the model. Let's just make a something called, let's make a function called send. It takes in a device, takes in an offset, and it takes in a len. Uh, we'll call it csend. csend dev at find, uh, and then we want the length to be this. Okay, now we want to do another one. The length is 60, 75, uh, oh, oh. And the thing we're gonna find is this. Oh, George, you should use our find replace script. Yeah, well, you know, my Vim skills have limits, boys. My Vim skills have limits. Um, we need struct csend dev dot right one uh, at sub off off plus ll. Well, actually, not for that one. For this one, I just want to do oh, and then we'll say num. Num, 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 num. Uh, one struct.pack, ii, ll, num. And then we send this junk. Uh, okay, that sounds good. Stick them csends down here. And then we'll try reading. Okay. So that should send that, that should send that. Oh, and then we gotta send this as well. Wow, this is a lot of junk we gotta send. Is this in the model? I don't even know. Binasky.unhex lify this replace that with that. 
just find it dynamically. How long is this one? This long. And it also gets sent to zero. And then finally, we're going to get a response. Allegedly. Allegedly, we get a response. Um, sending an offset with length num where's the chip tune at where's iCarly at yo where's the party at yo oh operation timed out no Oh, it's because we try to send it to num2. We gotta send it to num0. Okay, all right, boys. Operation timed out. How'd that even time out? That's illegal. Uh oh, we broke it. We broke it. We broke the coral. Can this thing fix the coral? No, we broke the coral. <laughs> we crashed the coral. Unplug. Plug it back in. Guys, guys, we bricked the coral. Guys, the, the coral doesn't work anymore. Guys, guys, I have some terrible news, but we've bricked the coral. We, 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 tripped, we tripped Google's anti-circumvention shit and we, we broke the, oh no. Oh, good, it reset the coral. Oh, I don't know what happened, it like reprogrammed it. Oh, it had to upload the firmware to the coral. Oh, look what we intercepted this time, boys. The firmware. Wow. Look at all this. Look at all this firmware. Oh. Uh-oh. We bricked the coral again. Look, it's screaming now. It's screaming. Don't brick me. Please don't brick me. I don't want to be a brick. We bricked the coral. The good news is it does seem like we can unplug and replug the, the firmware. Replug coral. Oh. It failed. Download firmware. Boot coral. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, uh, Oh, maybe we have to send it in chunks. That seems right. If LL is greater than, while LL is greater than 1,000, uh, off plus equals 1,000 at, all right. Come on, come on. If only had one shot one opportunity to tease everything you ever wanted would you capture it or would you just let it slip my arm spaghetti knees weak arms are ready there's vomit on the sweater already mom sh spaghetti no did i break it again no it's not as broken That's right. Okay, that one works. Off white, all right, off white, all right. Oh, wait, this might not even be doing anything because we might be left with that same callback bullshit again, okay. Uh, well, this is a problem because how do I save the real callback? Uh, all right, should we just use C++? How do I... 
I'm gonna hook a call back. But on the surface, he looks calm, spaghetti. Mom, spaghetti. He looks nervous, spaghetti. Spaghetti even. Um, we have to call the real call back. I don't know. Let's just write some really low quality shit and maybe it'll work. You ready for some really low quality shit? This is really low quality shit, boys. This is really low quality shit. But what if real callback's different, George? You didn't write good code. But on the surface, he looks calm, spaghetti. Uh-oh. That's what you get for not writing good code. That. Segmentation fault. She said she hates her friends because they call her all night. She's turning off her phone. She's going out tonight. Oh, someone's text. Next weekend after holiday weekend. Um, but on the surface, he looks calm, spaghetti. Okay, so it is real. It is really returning something. Did I do this right? Yeah. <laughs> Could that not be the right thing? Like this could it just not be the right thing? I don't know. Just give it some more context. Just in case multiple things start with the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Do you all know what I'm saying? It's not crashing every time now. Operation timed out, eh? You guys wanna look at the firmware? All that initial setup stuff it does? LL num. That's right, we're writing it to one. Type two is a bulk transfer, and then we're doing we're trying to do a receive of ten. That should work. That should completely work. And this is like some notice here when it reads this. This is the uh, actual like data that it reads. 
And this is just something saying the program's done. But the program's not getting done. Half the time input output error, half the time that. You can look at the packets in Wireshark. Uh, can I? Maybe, we can try. That would actually be nicer, I could have just hooked it the whole time. Can I hook USB? to capture USB where are these it's just gonna work that'd be sick if that works This one. Sure, faces are named. system integrity protection. The system has no integrity. It doesn't exist. Regardless, like, I don't think I'm missing anything. I guess I could see what's being sent back. And I could see that all these things were actually fake. Like they're just queued up. That matches. same. Look, it's going back into pulsing mode. What's pulsing mode mean? It didn't change, did it? Those are still the same, right? That one's different. 
that's a read anyway. Oh, edge TPU running when LED is pulsing, I say. Cool. So it's supposedly running, eh? What is this crap supposed to be? Operation timed out. Why? Oh, pulsating. Anything useful here? No. Yeah, I tried that. It doesn't work. No, I don't think it works on Catalina. Oh, it's not Catalina. It's uh, M1. None of this shit works on M1. Because I'm not even sure my USB is wrong. So, okay. Notice how there's a few different um, things. This is a program. This one here to zero one is the, uh, yeah, is the image. And then zero two is the weights. Program, more weights, program, more weights, and then a read. My only thought is that my program could be wrong. Like it's it's matching some other part of the file. That's the only thing I can think of. Like there's other stuff that all has that exact same intro, but it seems unlikely but possible. We try to parse the TF light file. We're gonna to have to do it at some point anyway. One of the things is being found there. It's found, I don't know. The second one's found here. 2208. 
no, sorry, 310C, which is here. Like, does this exist in multiple places in the files? One of my questions. Um, you know what? There's a simpler way to do this. I can just. Pulsing again. Why does it wait so long after that? And now it's broken. Oh, recovering TF light models from the binaries, huh? Ah. Something different. Get input details, get output details. That looks pleasant. <laughs> Quality. I feel like maybe after I run it once, it like messes up. How do I do a USB reset? Should have a structure, I'd agree with that. All right, now I like load something and takes forever. Sends all that. Maybe we can get rid of that first one again. Don't think it's useful. Input output error. That really doesn't make sense. So if we claim the interface. Device.reset. No, I was going to do it here. Oh, it worked. Look at how it responded with that. Now, no such device. It works. Oh, maybe did I reset it at the end? Awesome. Okay, look, we're getting a response. Device.reset, bro, you're cool. What else you been saying? Following since three hours ago. All right, you hang around a bit more, you can earn VIP. You keep making valuable contributions. Ah. Oh. All right, we're in, boys. We're in. We are in. All right, now it's getting valuable. Let's push this to GitHub. Did they respond to my request yet for using thingy? What are we gonna call it? Edge TPU X-ray? That sounds nice. Reverse, uh, okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, Enabling compatibility, oh, that sounds nice, with the Google Edge TPU. Enabling 
uh, let's say tiny grad compatibility with the Google Edge TPU. Yeah, that sounds nice. All right, cool. Gotta avoid the stuff. Yes, I'm sorry. I still call my things master. You gotta watch out, man. Don't wanna be a Pokemon main. I don't wanna be a Pokemon main. Let me tell you the difference between a Pokemon master and a Pokemon main, okay? A Pokemon master tells the Pokemon what to do. Pikachu, use Thundershock. A Pokemon main? Do you know what that is? That's Pikachu. You're doing the Thundershock, you know? When that Psyduck uses confusion, he's targeting you. That's right. Don't be a main, be a master. Mm. Gotta catch them all, gotta catch them all, Pokemon. All right, are we ready to figure out if things are bananas in Python? Oh, let's go. Let's go. I want to be the very best like no one ever was. Bum 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 to catch them is my real test. To train them is my cause. I will travel across the land searching far and wide. Bum 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 each Pokemon to understand the power that's inside. Alright, so that sounds nice. That sounds nice. Off white, all right. Off white, all right. Uh, do the key sub off, off, well. Wow. break anything in my high quality refactor all right now we want to send let's upload the model okay so we want to run the model we send that one then we send this one So this is a little bit smaller than the banana, isn't it? Fourteen A B. Probably some bullshit. We gotta send it like round it up. Plus five. That banana dot dat. Let's go. Now I'll send dev that data and the number one. And this. Uh, okay. So that's that. Now we have to send this next chunk of weights to pointer two. Alright, we send the program. Send the weights. 
44AD uh, 82. Okay, we don't do any receiving, it looks like. We send the next chunk of program. How much program do we send? This much program. And how much weights do we send? Wow, it's a lot of weights, boys. That's a one in the front there. Oh, it's heavy. This one. This one. We send uh, this one. What was this? Oh, it's just a runoff. All right, we're good. Uh, we send this one. Oh, this is a weight, so it goes to two. We send that to zero, and now we have to send one last weights. And then we do the read. B121 0, 0, send the weights. Now we do this read again. And then the big deal, we're gonna read out banana. We're gonna read out the fact that it says it's a banana. Alright, and this one we wanna do hex 400. Alright, let's try it. Cannot concatenate string to bytes. Oh, disgusting. Well, now it's broken. We might want to do a reset in the beginning. Download the firmware. One of these days we'll make the Python download the firmware. Um, no, we do have to do the reset in the beginning, otherwise it ends up in a bad place. Okay, let's do the reset, and then let's sleep. Point six. That's a good amount to sleep. I like point six. Okay, yo, is that FF right where the banana is? I don't know. It might be. That's at three BB. 3BB to decimal is 955. And if you guys remember from before, 955 is a banana. And just to prove that I'm not messing with any of you, we can try it with something else too. Actually, you guys want to go crazy? Let's go crazy. Let's include requests, right? That's the beauty of Python. You're about to witness Python power right now. Request.get sysargv1. Um, what's it called? Dot text or something? Uh, something like that. Give me a URL of an image. All right. Give me a URL of an image. Good point. Dot text. Is that right? Actually, dot text. It's always one thing. All right, who's posting? Who's posting a? Who's posting a URL of an image? I you know what? We're even gonna. We can even load this in Python because it's so easy. Let's just load this in Python quickly. You about to witness hip hop in its most pure, most raw, most oh, almost godless. So. Portrait of a British short hair cat with yellow eyes. Wow, that's the longest URL I've ever seen. But for you, bro, we'll do it. Oh no, it has like weird things in it. Oh, module name requests. Stir object is not callable. All right, let's try that. Oh God, no, don't do that. No, 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 no. Okay, um, kill image from string. Let's get this uh, string IO, yeah. 
Wow, yeah, okay, io.bytes, oh yeah, that sounds better. Uh, I'm gonna resize the image, yup. Where we used to read a banana, let's just go in here and put in what did I call it? Out. That was a stupid name. Image underscore pixels. Yeah, you gotta name your variables, not stupid shit, boys. Because if you name them stupid shit, you're gonna forget what you name them. All right, is this a cat? Let's find out. Bytes like object is required, not string. Oh, what is it? Data? Response has no attribute data. Raw? It has a stupid name. Requests text. What's it, what's it called? Content. Content. That's it. I always forget that. M is not defined. Oh, it's amazing. Now M is defined. Are you happy? Wow, okay, which one is it? It's this one here. I right, so that's one, one E, which is 286. Egyptian cat, boys. Wow, did we just get the Google TPU working from Python? Yo! Yo, Google should give me money for this. That's the most use anyone's ever gotten out of one of those little things. Yo! All right, all right, all right, fine, fine. We'll finish it up. We'll make it say cat. All right, who's ready to make it say cat? Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay. Uh, read dot strip dot split. Uh, I'll call it labels. Um, so dumping that, we'll say... Uh, or I in range 100 uh, if that sub i is greater than zero print dat sub i labels list index out of range okay Let's actually, let's do, let me just do this quickly too. Labels equals, what is that, just strip off how many characters? X sub one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You got to get this hip hop in its most purest. Uh, let's do, sorry, I made it AA. She hates her friends because they call her all night. She's going out her phone. She's going out tonight. The notches of your spine. All right. Oh, so not seven. Maybe that to be six. All right. Let's give me some URLs. Does everyone understand what's going on here? It's 131 a Persian cat, it's 87 an Egyptian cat, and it's seven a tiger cat. And then if you really wanna go crazy, it's a rabbit. All right, what do we got? What do we got? Statue of Liberty, that's appropriate. The link better, yeah, sorry, let's go. Pedestal, also a totem pole, very appropriate, that's right. Who said we knocked all the totem poles down? That's a why. We have our very own American uh, use JPEG in connect.py with edge TPU. I don't trust any of your screenshots. It, it's gotta say what it is. You know what? Okay, maybe we can look at it over here first. Cause we're not getting anyone banned from Twitch. 
Is it a bagel or is it a dog? I do not know. It's a bagel! <laughs> <laughs> hot dog that's very appropriate for july 4th too all right is it a hot dog or is it a hot dog let's go oh will it work with png hot dog no fucking way wow wow that's wild that's wild all right all right all right apple apple when you guys are gonna troll me and like it's gonna be you know goat sex or something Granny Smith, that's, wait a second. I have a theory, boys. I think we might've got the colors backwards. I think we might've messed the colors up because it thinks it's a Granny Smith. Let's fix the colors. No, it still thinks it's a Granny Smith. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, smiling old man having coffee looking happy. That's a suspicious link. I mean, I right, to be fair, he's a suspicious looking guy. Cup, coffee mug. <laughs> <laughs> all right they're all bagels they're not dog <laughs> mm, all right maybe someday we'll figure out how to parse the tensorflow file maybe someday we'll figure out how to parse the uh you know The other shit, but I think that is today's stream. Uh, anybody who has a Google um, Edge shit, the only thing you're really gonna need is this file, uh, and then this will work. You just have to get that file. And then you can use this very conveniently without installing any lib coral. This, this might be useful to somebody somewhere. I mean, I doubt it, especially since I think you have to run that for the firmware downloading. Oh, all right, we'll do the firmware. Should we do the firmware? Let's do the firmware. Let's just do one more thing. Should we do the firmware so it's actually useful to somebody and write a readme? Oh, yeah, you know what, bros? If we don't finish, you gotta finish, bros. You gotta finish. That's right. All right, we'll do the readme. We'll, do the, we'll make it standalone. I go back to witness hip hop in it. Most raw, most raw, most raw, the most raw. Unception. So we'll just write a little readme up here. Use your Google Coral USB stick with from Python and only Python. Get rid of the user's Taylor shit. Um, for those that are new to this stream, my computer's named Taylor because I love Taylor Swift. Uh-oh. But see, now it doesn't work because we didn't download the firmware. If anyone would like to waste money and purchase one of these things to make this example work, uh, I applaud you.
Okay. We're gonna have to make the firmware download work, but all right, now, now this should work. Oh, no, it doesn't work because it's a different, oh no. Okay. That's not the right edge tip of you. That's not the right file. Uh, edge TPU, pick coral, no, it's not pick coral, is it? What is it in? Lib coral. Get status. Hmm, someone updated it. That was a mistake. Test data. Yes, but actually get log. Oh, we have to get release frogfish. I don't understand, like when did this change? Um. She said she hates her friends because they call her all night. She's turning off her phone. She's going out tonight. Oh, there was metadata added. We don't want that. Maybe this works. picture go. I wanted Apple. Getting extra file running with Apple. You can run with other image too. Oh. That's sad. I don't that work anymore. Interesting. Okay. This is the firmware and we have to get it from somewhere. And then we have to download it. Well, I don't know what reg 200 is. That looks fancy. Where does this firmware come from? But this is a DFU download mode request. And then it reads it back. That's mad legit. Where does this binary come from? Let's go find it. That's not gonna work. Where's the firmware? Oh, here we go. No, never mind. It's an IDL file. Who 
Who can find the firmware? Oh, here. Apex latest single epi? Is this it? Oh, I think this is it. Which one's being downloaded? The single epi or the multi epi? Also, how sick is that? Who's ready to start reverse engineering this? Are there any strings in it? Not seriously. All right, let's go over to Google Edge TPU. Live Edge TPU. And it's in driver, USB. Let's click there so we go to that. No, 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 no. Don't want master. Don't fall for that scam again. Gotta be respectful of copyright, boys. Respect women and copyright. Is this the same thing as this? It's just like. Twenty of zero, twelve. And yeah, okay, this is probably the same shit. Okay, so it looks like. We do a control transfer. How does it know if it has firmware or not? I don't know. Sounds difficult. Okay, so the reason that we have to do this is because otherwise it doesn't work if you unplug and replug it. Like, I'll show you what happens. So. If we don't have any firmware and we just go and we try to run it, it should run okay now. Yeah, it gets us Granny Smith now. But if I unplug this, respect copyright, Sigma Heavy Industries, we get this crap, which is even weirder. Oh, it's a different device. Oh, yo, yo, yo. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Global Unichip Corp. That is so creepy. Doesn't even have the same. If dev is not. Download firmware. If dev is none. You need to buy Google Coral. No free banana for you. We're also gonna make banana the default image. All right. Apple is stupid. That looks like a web pea banana. I hate web pea banana. Google Drive, that's gonna go away. Bananas.jpg, this one's not going away. Do need to buy Google Coral, no free banana for you. Perfect, love it. Running with banana, you can run with other image too. Perfect, okay. Um, right, but that shouldn't be none. Oh, it's none because it's not even the right. They're all the global, the global unit chip corp is creepy. 
to download firmware bro all right let's load the firmware isn't it so nice to write low quality code on a Saturday oh that's very pleasant Dev control transfer request type is 21 1 range and firmware. I, oh, yeah, who remembers this in the iPhone days? Dev dot control transfer. Gonna say one more that's zero. Um, um, so. right, you said one that's zero. Receive. You want to do the read back? Do I have to? Let's see the other device now. I probably have to do it. Okay, fine. I will. Poisoning pigeons in the park. Who remembers that song? Poisoning pigeons in the park. One shot. If I fuck up, then I don't redo it. Right, let's go. No, no, we fucked up. We're not redoing it. We're out. We're out. No, well, this is Python 3. We can't, we can't play Python 3 for any shitty. All right, let's go. Uh, unsupported operand for bytes and int. What? Oh, because it has two of those, doesn't it? Throw one more zero in there. Still didn't show up, but I think that's because I just didn't give it time. All right, which is device is there now? Pipe error. Shoot, pipe error. Who's falling for it? Who's falling for it? You need to buy Google Coral. No free banana for you. Oh. Really? I don't want to buy a Google Coral. Okay. The global unit chip is back. I wanted to send some stupid, like, boot command. Alright, we did all that. Do the reads. Alright, oh, to 70. Yeah, that's right. And then it just boots, right? Does it just boot now? I probably have to do dev dot reset.
Entity not found. Oh, but it's there. Google composite device. All right, we gotta give it. Banana, banana, banana. Banana! Okay, now it works, but it doesn't download the firmware yet. All right, now, let's see if it'll download the firmware. Download, doing download firmware, bro. Entity not found. Um, should I run it a second time? Oh, that's not, oh, okay. That's fine. That's fine, actually. That's actually totally acceptable. Oh, but now it's not there. Okay. Okay, we have to call dev reset, but we have to intercept this. Is, but we need it. Okay, boys. So now anybody anywhere can run their Google TPU from only Python. Wow. Wow, that's useful. Someone might do something useful. Some kid might be inspired to. No. No. I don't, actually, okay, so um, I know a lot about the TPU architecture. I hope it's similar. I hope the compiler is similar. What is build.sh for? It not for you. You don't use build.sh. Sorry, this is a very low quality project. This is, this is, it didn't even get a Twitch name. It, it, it's a very low quality project. The really interesting thing to do will be to start diving into these num0 downloads. Actually, I'm just going to move the sending. So like Now it sends one, num one. Um, and you know, I'll just leave this in. I'll put old off. Can I call it none? And pass an old off here. It's gonna kind of like it, you know. An integer is required, not none type. Fine. You get minus one if you insist on a number. So now you can really see the structure of what it sends. Um, I don't know what that response is, but so this is some program that it uploads, and then it executes those instructions, and then it sends another program. Um, it sends the data, 
Actually, what if I just don't do that first one? Could it be important? Yo, it still works. Wait, did we just optimize the Google TPU and make it better by commenting out useless junk? I think we might have, or maybe it doesn't work if I unplug it, replug it. Oh. No, nope, that was necessary, but it was only necessary once. So it loads something into RAM, but once it's in RAM, it's all good. That's a lot of junk. I need to add a requirements.txt. I'll merge your pull request, but only if it's low quality. This is a low quality repo. Also, if someone makes the uh, read me prettier, I'd merge that pull request too. All right, can I explain to you what we did? All right, I guess, I guess we'll explain what we did. This is a Google Coral. Um, Google makes you install 1700 libraries to use a Google Coral. We got rid of all the libraries and we replaced it with 185 lines of Python. Uh, now, of course, this Python is much less flexible than all those libraries, but a lot of people really don't need flexibility because the only thing they're ever going to do with it is run the example. And the fact that you can now run the example with a single bit of Python is honestly completely fucking useless. But tell me what you did on your Saturday. That's right. You watched me stream. You managed to do something even more useless than I did. Someone somewhere might someday look at this code. But, you know, useful things are, uh, yeah. We don't do useful things on the stream, as you guys all know. Uh, no, nah, some of y'all are right. Uh, I, don't mean, I don't mean to hate, especially if you have a star next to your name. You've subscribed. You're a part of something, okay? If you don't have a star next to your name, you sat around all day watching me. Like, you spent all your time and you won't even pay $5 to subscribe to my Twitch. Now, what does that say, right? Like, subscribers, you're invested. You're trying to do something with your life. But not subscribers, well, I don't know about you. <laughs> Shameless. <laughs> You're poor. Oh. Some guy quoted me on Twitter, and you know I love that quote. If you grew up with access to the internet and you're not successful, it's your fault, bro. I think that's a great quote. Like, there's some people who didn't have access to the internet, and those people we can pity. But everybody else, you had the same internet I did, bro. Same internet. Stop being poor. Don't actually subscribe to my Twitch channel. It's totally useless. Uh, you'll get my appreciation. I honestly genuinely do appreciate subscribers uh, more than I appreciate not subscribers. And that's true. Um, but... You just kind of, it's a decision that everybody has to make for themselves, whether they want to subscribe to my, my stream or not. I'm not even trying to like bias you one way or another, except for the fact that, you know, you totally should subscribe. But like, other than that, I'm not, you know, you can think for yourself, man, except there's obviously a right answer. So there's that. Mm, Geohot at gmail.com if you want to send me money on PayPal. I always love free money. Uh, do I need the cash? No. It's just about showing off to the other people that you guys have stars. And I mean, do I like the cash? Yeah, you know. They're so cool, you should break dance. Nice bait, bro. Nice bait. You subscribed and I didn't stream for four weeks? I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, you know, but I'm not going to be beholden. Like, if I decided to stream because you spent $5. I'd be a real cheap whore, man. That's all I'm saying. All right. But I, if I could gift you a subscription, you'll do it again. Now that's the attitude I like to see. Oh, that's great. Uh, aren't we all cheap whores? I know that is a held for reason misogyny. I don't know. None of us were talking about women, so I think they got to improve their AI. 
I think that that's a, I think that that Twitch AI is being misogynistic, thinking that when we were talking about whores, we were thinking about women. That is incredibly misogynistic, and um, you know, I don't think that whores should be gendered. That's right. I think there's there's male whores and female whores and trans whores and a dinosaur whores and like there's lots of different kinds of whores, man. And I think for Twitch to single it out as misogyny is both misogynistic and heteronormative. That's right. I can speak postmodernist. Can you? Um. <laughs> Oh, no, no, we need the labels. Oh, you're right. Oh, you're right. Wow, do you actually have a Google Coral? <laughs> you're right, you're right, you're right. We need the labels. Thank you. Good catch, bro. I'll fix your bug right now. You don't get this kind of high-quality support, right? Oh, we got to download that one, too. Um, let's see. All right, we'll get it, we'll get. Don't we get, we get. Uh, original labels. Cool. I'm updating the README just for you, bro. Do you actually have a Google Core well? Got it because I really didn't structure this code very well. Cool. I mean, to be fair, I don't really think we need that one's not really copyrighted, so I you know it's fine. But labels, all right, pull now and try. I'm gonna get rid of those comments because it makes it harder to copy and paste. What, what, what am I screaming about? Uh oh, we're, we're warping into the pipe world, boys. Easier to copy. You know, we're not streaming Comic Con. You guys, Comic Con's an IRL event, man. I don't need a fucking Zoom call. No Zoom calls. She said she hates her friends because they call her all night. She's turning off her phone. Don't use build.sh. I'll lay out a note. Do not run build.sh for Taylor only. I spelled only wrong. You use connect.py nope <laughs> 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 we <wrote> docs <laughs> Programmer, so that's that's uh, I don't know. Do you think I, bro, do you think I do this because I need to work? I don't need to work for your shit. Where's other coral guy? Wait, did some, does somebody actually own one of these? Did somebody else actually waste $45 and purchase one of these? Like, and it's so sad because Google, if you're watching the stream, if anyone from Google's watching the stream or if you're at Google or anything, I don't fucking want this. 
Nobody wants this. Nobody wants little doohickeys that you can plug into a USB port to make TensorFlow run, you know, like, like, like 2x faster than your Intel CPU with 10x more annoying libraries. Nobody wants this. Let me show you what people want. Okay, Google, very simple, very simple. I'll show you what people want. You see that? You see this? Take one of those chips and put it on a PCIe card, stick a fan on it and sell it. That's something, that's a personal photo of a TPU3, that's a lie, right? You have the Google Dev Core, yeah, because this is, of course it's a piece of shit. Nobody wants this. Nobody. Nobody wants it. Oh, oh yes, well, that's two watts of AI inference. Oh, nobody wants it. The people want Cherry Computer. I know the people want Cherry Computer. That's why, you know, we think about building it, and then we don't, but we think about it. Oh, it's a strong shoe company, it's not so painful. Mm, no, clouds don't want them. No, I'm not selling it to you. I'm too lazy to honestly, like, you'd have to pay me probably at least, for me to go through the effort of shipping something, we're talking in the thousands of dollars range. What's Oxide Computer? What is it? I'm trying to figure out what it is. It's a rack. They, they just made a rack. And you'll tell me about your principle. And and they 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 host a podcast. They made a rack with a bunch of uh, blade like a blade. They made a big blade machine. This is stupid. Looks like marketing wankery. I agree. <laughs> All right, all right, guys, got a plan. Got a plan. Okay. We're going to make a rack. We're going to put a thousand of these in there. And then talk about how we made a rack that has four petaflops of computing power in one rack. Okay. It's gonna cost $30,000 to buy this. And then we're gonna put it in a nice box. We're gonna put a really nice cherry computer logo on the side. We're gonna pay at least $5,000 for that logo. Um, and then actually, fuck this, we're not even gonna build it. We're gonna just Photoshop it. We're gonna spend $5 on Fiverr, and then we're gonna make a wet $10, we'll increase the budget, and we're gonna make a website. 40 petaflops of compute, yeah. And then we're gonna do it under the name Mike Hunt, uh, Mike Hunt, and then we're going to, uh, you know, just, oh, sorry, man, oh, yeah, you know, it didn't work out, man, oh, it, it didn't work out, man, oh, yeah, all right? And then we're gonna uh, go to Malaysia with the money that we raised. <laughs> we all think. <laughs> <laughs> you think we can raise you think we put this together and we try to pitch VCs and we go like you know just anonymous <laughs> yeah I didn't get to try copilot I'm on the wait list
and any startups or products you're excited about, to be honest, and like I say this, I, maybe I'm a little biased. I'm not actually excited about the Patriot Edition because the Patriot Edition is stupid and the red color, like, I mean, like, it looks nice when you first look at it, but if you had to look at that disgusting red every day, I, I don't think you'd like it. But, like, I mean, you know this. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, what else am I excited about? You know what I'm really excited about? No, you know what I'm honestly... You, you know what I'm excited about. Hell yeah. Yeah, I finally made a computer with a decent amount of RAM. I mean, to be fair, I could have bought this computer with a decent amount of RAM, but it was like a special order. Mm, what am I doing for July 4th? In San Diego, the biggest fireworks show in America. Going to see fireworks, man. Um, why do I need so much RAM? So I can put the J on the make. Yeah, I bet M2 you can put the J on it. Um... Yeah, I'll pay 5k. Shit, I'll pay. I mean, okay, if Apple charged $50,000, I wouldn't, but I'd be happy to pay 5k. It's probably good. I mean, General Dawson Copa, I haven't tried it. You can make these things really good, I'm sure. Yeah, System 76. I mean, System 76 is cool. You know why System 76 is cool? And Oxide Computer is not cool? Why? Why is this one cool and this one not cool? What's the difference? What's the difference? Who can who can spot the difference? Exactly, you can buy. Wow. Wow. Photoshopped fake shit. Buy. Even though you can pay as low as $6 a month. We do affirm too. It's, it's okay. Hmm. Hmm. NVIDIA. NVIDIA as a company, yeah, kind of sucks. But NVIDIA product, very nice. You guys want to see a real nice card? Gigabyte Turbo RTX 3090. This card. Wait. Is that real? Oh, no. I jacked the price up. This card, bros, it fits in two slots, a 3090 worth of performance. It's great. Should I go to dinner tonight with Alex? I think so. I think that's what we're going to do tonight. Um, this is a nice space heater. I know. No, these are really nice. No, they haven't gotten it. No, this is from Samsung. This is Samsung. Samsung 8. TSMC 7 is a scam, though. Or wait. Yeah, TSMC 7 is, 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 is disappointing. TSMC 7 is actually Intel's, like, like, this is TSMC 7, and this is Intel's 10. But then you look at TSMC's 5, and you start realizing why the M1 is better than everything else. TSMC's 5 has a transistor density of 173 million transistors per millimeter squared. You ever seen a millimeter? That's got a million transistors in it. Look at Samsung. See? See? Good one, bad one. See? Look at the bits. Uh, I don't know. I don't have any API. I can do with API. I'm going to install, you know, whatever, whatever that thing is called. I'm not. So small, man. So small. I know. I love small transistors. Uh, yeah, you can connect it to your Google Coral USB. Did anybody actually try this on a real Coral? Did it work for them? Can we actually definitely look at the firmware and see what it is a little bit? I don't know. I, I should probably stop streaming. I think the stream is over. What instructions are those?
Okay, you know what? I am going to reserve. Uh, okay, we're gonna we're gonna give we're gonna give Google a small compliment. I am happy that they are actually selling a usable version of this thing, right? Like I, I like I appreciate this is not actually too much money. This is if we could actually like like if we decided we wanted to use these things, they actually are shippable in um in like you know the next generation comma product, which is kind of cool. Uh, they're reasonably priced, and, and they do have a good bit of power for that reasonable price. Um, so we, we are going to say that even though you know nobody wants a USB stick. And like the market for USB sticks is not, is actually totally non-existent. Uh, the market for these chips maybe is, isn't. And yeah, I appreciate Google for selling this. Um, so, you know, we, we, we can say a lot of good things about them compared to, you know, um, Oxide Computer, for example. Uh, I appreciate, I really appreciate that they have a button. Like it just gives you, it gives you like an option. It gives you something you can think about using. You know, it's pretty cool. We've got Edge GPU right there. You know, we can hook it up to PCIe if we want. It's actually pretty cool. I did docs updates. <laughs> Someone already put the requirements that TXT. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, does that work? <laughs> I appreciate this. <laughs> as long as it works, let's see if it actually works. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, I don't think that's the right USB. I think I installed Pi USB. We will fix the requirements.txt. <laughs> See, isn't it cool that you can learn that you can actually put an arbitrary number of spaces in front of things in your requirements.txt? <laughs> hate that I have to, I don't know why that doesn't, where are my sensible side buttons? They're not there. It's lies. Um, yeah, I, I feel better about, you know, purchasing one of the, like purchasing a lot of these things now that it sucks also that it's only in date, but like, you know, you get why they do that. It's only in date. And I think even worse than it only being in date, I think it's only you in date. It doesn't even have minus. Which, how do you like deal with multiplies? Maybe it doesn't matter. Maybe the high bits just go away. Um, by the way, I just want to tell you guys, like, you can rent TPUs and, you know, you can, like, look through how they work and stuff. It's kind of cool. You can pipeline a module model with multiple edge TPUs. Uh, I do wish Google, I do wish the edge, the edge TPU compiler is not open source. I do appreciate them making a runtime open source. These registers. <coughs> Maybe it's not that many registers. What language is this in?
Are these risk five instructions? This is clearly an instruction set of some kind. Oh, look, they just used DFU util. That was smart. I didn't have to write it. on the web web coral Oh. New CPU runs WASM only, okay? What language is this written in? What 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 is this? Just bin walk it? You can gun walk mouse? Been long, I don't have been long. No, 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 don't do this, don't do that. No, 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 don't run brew cleanup. No, okay, fine, run brew cleanup. Don't run brew cleanup. I'm so conflicted about brew cleanup. All right. Put in Radari. Oh god, do you think I can use Radari? I'm gonna use Radari. Where's Gidra? Where's my Gidra? Binwalk-A firmware. Hey, you know what, you guys, you have the link to the firmware. Whoever can figure it out gets a brownie point. I'll hook you up with a brownie point. It doesn't work. Who wants a brownie point? Cuda. Yo, you know Thneed? What if you wrote Thneed but for Cuda? Cuda fast. All right. Risk five. CPU rack? Well, what'd you find? Oh, could we play it out with some Q-Op? Yeah, we could play it out with some Q-Op. Right, come on, come on, come on. Be risk five. Who thinks it's not risk five? 
It's not risk five. What do you think is custom? Let's first look and see if this project looks legitimate. not an APK. APKs are zip files, bro. Oh, okay. Well, that's a real thing. How do I change the, uh, the thing in this? Processor manual? No. Configure? Core configure? No. How do I change the processor type? Yes, that one. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure. I'm sure there's some of my tool options. Uh, processor manual? No. Okay. I'll just delete this and load it again. I don't know how to delete. Delete project. What? Tools. Project. Tool options. This is terrible. No, it's an 80. It's an 80. This is a legit CPU. Uh, sorry, I spelled it wrong. Yeah. Uh oh, we're running out of RAM. We're running out of RAM. We shouldn't have opened seven million web browsers. I can't wait till lawyers get replaced by Python. I hate lawyers. <sighs> New project, non shared project, edge TPU, firmware, port file. I never got as good with this as I am with Ida. I'm a, I'm a little late to the Gidru game, but I, I think this is what a lot of people are using now. Yeah. Let's well, begin to your microprocessor. Java. -y. I can see why government employees like Java. Wait, no, I was really, I was really, I was really counting on that. I was really thinking that would work. Oh, it's clear code, but you got to press D. Oh yeah, yeah, give him the D. Ah. Oh. Only an ID you give him the C. Here you gotta give him the D. Give him L jumps. Oh, sweet. Look at this. Oh, cool.
Yeah, look at this Google Google quality firmware. Wait, actually, isn't everything that you download with uh, DFU Util? Uh, aren't they all 80? Well, I guess they're not, but yeah, I mean, we use DFU Util on the Panda. Uh, the Cypress chips are what I'm thinking of, though. Cool, bros. Uh, I'll leave you there. If you all want to explore the Google TPU firmware, the Google Edge TPU firmware, you can. Pretty cool. I think that sends stuff over USB. You could probably find, I think this is what controls that USB. It's not much code. Thank you for watching today's stream. I appreciate you all being with me on this journey. Um, I really appreciate everybody who, uh, you know, knew they were the problem this morning. Um, and I hope you guys take a bit and you honestly reflect on that and be the change you want to see in the world or some shit like that, right? Like, are you the problem? Do you know people who are the problem? Like, it can start with you. It actually can. Um, stop being the problem. I mean it. Uh, I, think, I think that's the only way to fix this. And, uh, you know, to people who are the problem, I'm not saying, you know, ostracize them from society, but I think a little bit of shame is, is, is appropriate. And this is what I'm doing to you now. Like, I'm, I'm giving you all a little bit of shame. Not, you know, not terrible. Just like, you know, nothing more than what, you know, I made a G today, but I made it in a sleazy way. Nothing more than that. Nothing more than that. But I have faith in most of you. Some of you, diehard psychopaths. You're not going to do shit. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the people who have a choice. Even if you think it's a hard choice. It's a hard choice for everybody. But not everybody makes the choice you made. Don't sell out, bros. Don't sell out. Thank you all for watching.